And we're live. Cool. Welcome to my chat here. Welcome in. Dr. Nick, welcome in. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm looking at the chat. Got broke. We got the motor. He was here. He dropped off for a second. We got motor up here and Big D always. Big supporter of the channel. And we're doing a test tonight. We're also live streaming on Rumble. And one thing I noticed, hey, Pat Pfeiffer, hey, how's it going? Welcome in. I noticed on our Rumble, uh, never, ever, ever donate to me. Never donate to me. All right, do not do that. It will come right back to you. I'm not, I'm not here for that. Not here for the money. Now, if we can find a place to send it down the road one day, maybe we'll do a show for donations for a great cause and get everyone. Sure. sure. Well, I noticed that on Rumble, it like, right? I'm like, what is this? So you can follow me on Rumble, because Rumble's gonna play a big role now uh, on our stream. Yep. And we send a big thank you out to the statistician broke fishing. It kind of rhymes. <laughs> the statistician broke fishing. The statistician broke fishing. Da 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 da. Ha! I like it. Okay. So we, we're, we're testing that, but do the follow. Don't do subscribe. I didn't I don't know nothing about that. And it brings up crazy stuff. You don't pay Jay Blues ever. Yeah. Believe me, if I ever needed something, I know where to ask. In other words, I ain't the guy that will do that. I love you guys out there. I have a high respect for my chat. I love you guys to death, all the support you give me. So, let's just get going. Dr. Nick, what you been up to, my bro? Well, I'm just trying to stay out of trouble. It's been a full-time job, just trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, but, um, oh, did some stuff around the house outside today. Really nice day today. Uh, supposed to be this whole weekend supposed to be really nice so yeah but I'm gonna be over at Jay Blues' studio and we're gonna put on a live yeah that's Sunday Sunday uh, you'll be here oh yeah. yeah rain or shine don't matter that right oh no we don't care no, it's supposed to be like in the 70s. No, we're like the mailman. We'll carry your music through rain, sleet, and snow. Five in the chat, welcome in to the green room. Come on in. Hey buddy. Who's in there? I tell you what, Dr. Nick, I was watching some videos of the Eagles, right? Yeah. That white Rick would have fit right in on that tribute band. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's why his bass player wanted to buy it. <coughs> but then once he played it, he didn't like it. 
what you really tell him it was like five grand Dr. Nick. I think I think I was gonna sell it to him for two. Had a turtle welcome in right behind the man. Broke fish. Turtle tear. Turtle tear, Daniel Berry, welcome in. Get those like guys. You want to post some links, Pat, please do. Get Daniel's up. Get them all up if you want. As long as they got, you know. You know what to do. I never worry about my mods. They're so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just got a YouTube notice a little bit ago about <laughs> the show going live. Yeah, I figured for like the live, I'll put the Nord on the other stand on the other side of the room. That way, it can be on like both of us, yeah. right there, like a micro stage kind of thing. You play that through that whole song? You play I the do. Nord through that whole song? I, I sure do. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah, it's very, you know, out of all the pieces of gear I played, I, I mean, I can't think of another board that creates, you know, unless we turn on the real world with her, it's not. It, right, it, right. It does it, you know. Yeah. That's, um, it does cool. the super tramp real good oh, yes and it does crow is real good that's it right there yeah it's an animal you know on the video for that song it shows the keyboard player playing a fender rose yeah but if you go watch the the first i think it's the second video he's playing a whirlwind is it yeah i don't think they're playing anything <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any amps on the stage. It was just one of those in-house videos. Yeah. I like that music. That's in the, uh... I like the beat. That's in the, uh, Late Night Detroit file. Okay. okay. I threw them all in that folder. The folder's growing. You know, as long as there's new stuff, keep putting new stuff. Yeah. We try anything. <laughs> if... If we can play it and sing it, we'll try it. <clears throat> oh, you know there's a TV commercial on now with uh, uh, Dancing in the Moonlight is in the background of the TV They pay a lot of money for the publishing rights on a song like that. that oh was, yeah, that was like a that was like an oldie pop tune. Yes.
King Harvest is the band that did it. Somebody got a check. Oh, yes. Thank you, Pat Pfeiffer. Pat, what are you doing? Causing trouble? <laughs> I got everybody in the chat. I know Moda's backstage somewhere. That's that. You know, you can see it if you want. I got, are you on the guest app or are you on the actual StreamYard? Uh, StreamYard. Yeah, I, I went through the one that you sent me. Yeah. Okay, but you're not like on that, that separate new guest app thing they put together? No, it went right into the studio. Okay, cool. Excellent. Yeah. Um, all right, so you don't see it on the side there uh, squares for comments and stuff? No. Um, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, now I can see. You can see the chat now? Yeah. Find motors. he be back. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got he's he's got, he's muted. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> special company over there. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Friday night, you know, it's laid back. There he is. He's in the chat, Doctor. Oh, okay. Cool. The boss. <laughs> he, is, he is the boss. The boss, okay. yeah.
right out broke. Kitty, how are you, dear? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Perfect channel to relax. Brother, let me tell you something, man. I fired up the weed eater today. So like, I'm like, I'm like, great. It's, I forgot I restrung it like a month and a half ago. <laughs> so I put it in the, you know, in the, in the car, in the band trailer. I was like, it's the weed eater, man. You gotta guard it with your life, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah. put some fresh gas <laughs> in it. Make, I had the oil and everything mixed in perfectly, right? And I'm like, man, I hope that's not, I thought, let me get it going. I fire it up. You prime it, two pull, I hear it kick. That means go to half choke and it's gonna, it's gonna hit. So I pull it twice, it hits, and it's warming up, it dies out. I'm like, I'll bet it has too much oil in it, right? So, you know, take a break, go back out, 10 minutes later, pull it, fires right up. I went to town with that. Cut down the jungle, brother. Ha <laughs> ha! There was no way. I was like, where you're coming in when you get here? I was like, I gotta cut this shit down. <laughs> and then the dude that owns that Mercedes with the brake issue, right? Oh, yeah. He's a real nice, really nice super person. He pulled in. I'm like, hey man, how's it going, Bill? What you up to? There you go. And I know it. I said, hang on a second. I, said, I just got done weeding. What for? It's going to grow back. But you know how it is down here. I mean, it shit just grows wild. Yep. Yep. It does. It, it doesn't take long either. It just happens. Yeah, if you ever let your yard grow like this down here, you'd be getting a fine in the mail, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yet, the field that's behind my house is owned by the city. Well, the grass is this tall. I don't see them coming out to cut it down. Boy, that stuff was up to my knees over here by the bricks. I'm like, God, you go. And then I used up the last of the string. I'm like, well, yeah, it looks good now. Yeah. I'd love to get Benny up on here. Everybody love Benny. If, well, you'd have to be able to understand him. <laughs> you'd have to be able to get a freaking connection. <laughs> well, I got to drive. Hold on. I have to drive out about 14 miles so I can get a signal. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. There What's happening? Sorry about What's that. <laughs> How you doing? Appreciate you letting me up. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, MCM. How you doing, everybody in the chat? Who's, who's all out there? We got Kitty. Kitty. Pat. Pat. Big D broke. Had a turtle. Oh, yeah. Super, super. Put turtles link up there if he wants. Well, thanks for sharing my link, Pat. Awesome. Oh, Daniel Berry. To make us, makes Daniel the rounds. Barry, yeah, Daniel Berry. He always stops in and gives a like and says hello. Oh, doesn't yeah. stay long, but he always does stop in and do his thing. I love all his shorts he puts up. Yeah, I always check them out myself. What's going on, Turtle? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, damn, before I came up, I was going to say something to you. <laughs> My nephew was there, though. We were talking. <laughs> Oh, my other nephew got a fucking um, uh, part in a movie, but he's like a background person, yeah. you know, just a fill, like a fill in. <laughs> that's that's exactly what my wife does. Um, she's in two or three different movies, just as a background person. Yeah, it's like somebody but, sitting at a restaurant or some shit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You always see her, though. She's always there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They uh, actually call her. Um, the, the producers and everybody, they call her. <laughs> we got a movie coming up, and we need you to do this. Yeah. She goes and does it. I am Peggy. Peggy. That's, that's my wife. Oh, is it? Yeah. How you doing, Peggy? Mrs. Dr. Nick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the eyes of Tammy Faye. Remember Tammy Jim Baker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking all the painted face. <laughs> she was in that movie. Um, damn, God, it's mm. me, Margaret. What <laughs> you are there? Isn't that a um movie? And you are there? That sounds like a Humphrey Bogart movie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I put this virtual background on, I and it didn't. It. it didn't fit the top though. It says at the top where. Uh, wait, which way? No, the other way. It, the corner on J Blue's side. It says it's Friday, bitches, but it's at the very top, and it didn't show up. Let me try. <laughs> what? Let me see something. You know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna take the green names. Six times. Hey, you got to call the green room. Why not? Or can, is there different shades? Yeah. So the Bennett takes the green out of the streamer. Uh, yeah. I don't like that. Tower. This looks too like an office. This is like a, you're talking I shit. The guy with the cash that's going to let you go back in the studio, Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I need to meet him. Man, this is better. Here's the car's look, you know. Add some more color to it. <clears throat> I'm digging that, man. John Belushi. Like he's saying, no, we are going to drive through that fucking mall. 
<laughs> here's here's my other favorite. There it is. <laughs> Dig. <Yeah>. Dig. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I ain't never smoked a weed like this before, man. <laughs> What's in this shit, man? <laughs> Little hey, sense million, man. Here, take, take one of these, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh don't, don't take that, man. Don't take those. <laughs> I can't use the most the wrong thing, thing, man. <laughs> What do you say? That's the most acid I've ever seen anybody ever take. <laughs> He's going to be, gonna be high for a month. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fucking that cop pull up. Shit. Oh, that, that was the best part of the movie. Cop walks up. He can I see your license, sir? He's like, <laughs> is he on the back, man? <laughs> Back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't he say something? The cops say, um, you've been um, smoking pot or doing drugs or something. He goes, no, oh, but you got some. Didn't he say something like that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, I'm have not to either. Watch. I've no, watched it several times, but I, I can't remember all of it. Citizen Z played it on Discord, and we oh, watched it. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool. It's like being backstage, you know, just watching a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I told him he needs to do it a little bit more often. Them Cheech and Chong movies, watch them a couple every once every couple months. You know, they're they're funny as hell. And there's always other good movies out there. Actually, um, what was the one we just watched? Damn it. Oh, there's one Esther Esther or something. That was a really good movie. Huh. I think it's called Hester. So I gotta roll me the joints. Muffy gave me a couple buds here. I'll try his off. Well. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I wish I would have. Oh shit, where'd I go? I'm here. No, I dropped off. My screen's gone. Oh, <laughs> oh you're just, yeah, stuttering there. I, can, yeah. I can't see you guys. I can now, but I hit the button down here. This tablet's uh -huh. a lot different from the I'm not used to it yet. Ah. Uh. I wish I would got more or got that tree down, but the ground's too soft. We couldn't get the truck back there. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that. Oh yeah, man, that you gotta be careful. Yeah, that that, that it, it sounded like that. Remember that truck over here, <coughs> next to Commander? Remember that um, truck? That time it was over here, Doctor Nick. Is like oh. big tree truck. Yeah, yeah. It had those jaws on the back of it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what Moda was talking about. It's just sunk right in. Yep. Yep. And there's not much room on the other side of my house to get anything through. That truck was barely going through. It was less than six ah. inches on each side of the truck. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yep. And then he couldn't turn the tires or anything to back it out, you know, to try to yeah. make it rock or whatever. <clears throat> so then luckily my neighbor um, pulled his semi over here 
backed it up and pulled him back, pulled him out of the driveway. No shit. <laughs> yep. Yep. Chain, <clears throat> chained him up and then pulled it and just pulled it, gave him a pull. <laughs> yep. That was, if he wouldn't have had that, that fucking truck would have been stuck there. Oh, yeah. I mean, we would have probably got it out of there, but we tore my fucking lawn up even more. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Your whole side yard would have been torn up. And I told him two days ago when he said he was wanted to do it this week. And I was like, man, you're going to get that truck back there and it's going to get stuck. You know, the ground's too soft. Tried yeah. to tell him. But didn't listen. <laughs> no. Was it decent weather up there today? Oh, it was great weather. I mean, it was like um, upper 40s, but it was yeah. sun. No, no yeah. wind. You know, it would have been perfect weather to be fucking out there working. We yeah. have been sweating. I always like it um, cooler when doing that much work because we'd have been out there for like 12 fucking hours. What's going on, Turtle? Well, how are you doing? How are you, buddy? Uh, about to go and be elbowed deep in a freaking engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's morning time there, ain't it? Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, it's afternoon. Just don't pass time. <laughs> Sit here finishing me coffee, and then I'll take this for a walk into my shed. I'll show you, show you south side my project. <laughs> uh, cool. cool. That's where my projects are. That's it. Oh, where the biggest, the biggest project I've got is restoring a freaking station wagon. <laughs> what year is it? 1991. Okay. And I'm giving it the 70s theme. So I'm giving it a white roof, uh, sort of like um, a metallic sky blue, metallic bottom half. And I found out that I can get 15 inch rims over the front rotors. So I'm going to get some nice steelies, have them powder coated black, put a nice hubcap, like an old 60s to 70s hubcap on it with the chrome beauty strip around the outside, as I'm well dead. as. The front and rear bumper, the very, very top of it looks like it it was designed off an old bumper, like an old chrome bumper. And then they've just the, added the plastic part on the bottom, like the, the split of the fuse or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have the top part of the bumpers uh, friggin' uh, vinyl chrome so that way I don't have to try and find a good chrome paint for a plastic bumper. So I'm just going to get them friggin' vinyl to give it that old school chrome bumper look. <laughs> And I'm putting it on airbags on, as well. On a plastic bumper, you're going to do that? Uh, you know, they're, Are you, you know how they like, vinyl wrap it tight now? Instead yeah. of painting it, they vinyl wrap it? Yeah, I'm just going to do that. For oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. So I just okay. get it just on the very, very top of the bumper. So from a distance, it looks like it's actually got an old school chrome bumper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen a station wagon in years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Station wagons Not don't like look like station now. wagons anymore. <laughs> but uh, what, dude, what did you, you seen the Cadillac station wagon? No. Um, dude, no. It, it doesn't look like a station wagon. It looks like a hatchback with four doors. Well, that's what I was going to say. I thought I seen some that were supposedly like, you know, station wagons, but they don't look nothing like a station wagon. Huh. Not the ones we know. Yeah. yeah, but why does the roof taper so far down when it goes to the back? It's like the, the back windows are half the height of the door windows. It's like, yeah. so you, you, you take away the height of the roof, so therefore you're re reducing the, the amount of space that you can use. But uh, yeah. um, I don't understand that. But why would you lower yeah. the roof in the, the storage compartment area? It's like, just, just make it a four-door sedan. Like just, just, just give it a trunk. Fuck. You know, I get it with all the accidents, but I used to love the station wagons where you could sit in the back 
They had a back yeah, seat so you could look out. Down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You look, and look you out the back. the other way. Yeah. Yep. My um, <laughs> grandmother or my grandfather had a, a station wagon like that. We'd always ride in the back. Going yeah. down 96, going west down, um, to the other side of Michigan. You get to ride back there the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, seventies and sixties cars were like that in Australia as well. And the station wagons, they had a tailgate, not a hatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the window wound up <laughs> and down out of the freaking out of the tailgate. And I'm doing that for the Commodore because the Commodore's got a hatch, but the back end is the same as the Ute or the pickup version of that car. And uh, so I'm going to get a Ute tailgate, and then I'm going to cut the top of the hatch off, weld it to the car, recess the window friggin' part, and then make another lip. So that way I've got a, a runner for the window to go up and down in. So that way you can't grab the window from the top and just smash it by, by pulling on the top of it. So that way when the window's wound up, there's a lip all the way around. So you can't grab the window for any friggin' reason. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go. Usually, you're a bit nuts for it. Well, it's got SS interior, it's got HSV rims, a 3.8 litre buck, V6. Yeah. Making stupid people famous. How you doing, brother? Making stupid people famous. <laughs> Yeah, I was, oh. I was glad to watch that video this morning and see that little puppy running through the woods. That was really cool. Pat. <clears throat> Keep forgetting that I can actually see the YouTube for the comments over here now. You know, I, I follow this page on Instagram and it's a pit bull in this uh, magpie. It's a, a bird. And the bird fell out of a nest when it was a baby. So they raised it from a baby and the dog and the bird are actually friends. You know, the bird can peck at it and fuck with the dog and the dog just plays with, lightly with it. It's, you know, well... They live over, um, was it, I don't know how to pronounce it, A-U-C-K land over there near Australia. Um, what is it? I, what is it? Auckland? Auckland. 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 That's in, that's in New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was over there. Um, yeah. that's that one, where they live. One, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> they came out, um, the animal, whatever. And took the bird. Yeah. They said it was like inhumane or something or whatever and took their bird. And it's grown. Wow. It's not like the it's not like it's a little bird, baby. It's a grown They're, bird. No, nah, magpies are a protected species. You cannot interact with magpies any way, shape, or form. You cannot friend oh, wow. a friggin' magpie. You're not allowed to. It's illegal. Yeah. But so this, so them putting that as a sob story on the news is pretty fucking stupid. Well, you know, they got fucking, um, uh, I don't know how many followers on Instagram, but they got 70,000 signatures on a petition. Yeah, to get I bet that you most back. of them were millennials and Gen Z. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like people who, who think that you can, you can friend endangered species and protected species and stuff and, and like, you know, and, and, it's and, it's and, it's and it's get away with it. Not, to be honest, the fucking bird and the dog are like family. If you watch yeah. the videos, yeah. you'd get it. It's not yeah. about fucking somebody's, you know, sexual orientation yeah. or their gender or their background yeah. or creed. It's about the animals. They're yeah. family. <clears throat> yeah. You know, they grew up together. You don't just fucking rip them apart. That bird might fucking stop eating because it's not around <clears throat> its family no more. We don't know that. It's not wild anymore. They, they even let it outside. It can fly. It comes. It stays there. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's not like it wants to go somewhere. Right. <laughs> I could see if it was, you know, a wild bird and you let it outside and the fucker went, gone. You know, <laughs> that'd be a little bit different. Now the that bird don't go nowhere. <laughs> also, on the other hand, you don't want to domesticate a, a wild bird that still is allowed to go out in the wild because if it has chicks, it's going to train the chicks to go to you to get food instead of teaching the chicks how to hunt. And then yeah, you're now just going to create a cycle of animals wanting to be domesticated. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But um, one of my best friends is Animal Rescue. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it can work both ways. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we take, yeah, we take care of animals. animals. Yeah. Yeah. My friend had a raven and took care of it until it was able to fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got a lot of crows and stuff around here. Uh, again, it won't be too long until I walk outside and there's a heap of birds calling out for Mark. <laughs> Mark's not here, man. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Patrick. We're all pulling for you. <clears throat> now, with um, Rack, right? Rack? Dog? I can't remember his name. <clears throat> I just called I him started a little baby puppy. I was buffering there. I couldn't hear anything that anybody was saying for about a minute uh, there. I was just, I was just a quick shout to Patrick. He had a dog that, uh, a white German shepherd up, uh, up at his place that got a hold of a can and um, ate a can. And um, it happens. And the dog evidently, it just stormtrooper just come through it just you know yeah he was Claire's answer, white german shepherd put his link up there pat get a chance i, I don't know if you did or not but yeah it's he was out today and it and its brother were running around the woods Playing. Well, I thought that was real. Uh oh. Back in second. Parvo. Oh. Parvo. Oh, man, I'm, I'm hearing you, brother. Uh, I mean, that is like, that is a serious word around this neck of the woods, too. Ha. Holy cow, look at her. Beautiful day in Texas. Let's go ride. Sorry, I was sheep. Couldn't help. Was, oh my goodness. Guy here in Detroit, the murder suspect. The cops surrounded his car and he set himself on fire. Holy shit! Wow. Current news yeah. or it's here in Detroit. It's Detroit crime, crime news, Detroit. Wyandotte, Michigan. Well, it's it's not even. It's like southwest Detroit. Or, Yeah. 
trying to find this guy's this page. I'll be right back. I just want to check something I heard outside here. I'll be right back. I mean, oops, dope. First. Some of these freaking videos. Do you guys watch um or like boxing? Yeah. I mean Oh yeah. I watch some clips of boxing like on YouTube where it'll be yeah. an hour show yeah. of right. these guys knocking each other out. Have, have you seen um that guy Jake Paul? <laughs> uh, I guess him and Mike Tyson are gonna fight. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna it's, happen. Mike's in good condition. I mean, he's. I, you know, if the guy stays away from me, he's got longer reach. He might be able to beat him on points. Yeah, but Mike Tyson gets a hold of that guy. Oh my goodness, that, Tyson's looking. He looks still like he used to. I mean, he's strong. Yes. I fast watched, and strong. Watched the thing where he was working out the other day, and my God, if that man hit, <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight him. He hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't want to fight him. But I don't know. And they said it's not even a a professional fight or anything. It's just like. For charity or whatever, I don't not for charity, but you know what I'm saying. Right, right. It's like like an exhibition fight or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But I I would assume Tyson's got to be being paid. Oh yes, I mean, they're both doing it for a paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got some advertisements or somebody sponsored that's paying them. Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I start buffering with a virtual background. So that's why I turned my um, camera off. Okay. Is that what did that's that? The, I'm pretty sure because it's done it on my panel. Just kicked me right off. And ah. somebody told me it, the virtual background, it takes up too much for the, or the um, tablet. Oh, well, I'll be damned. I don't know how much to be true, but what I was told. Yeah. There's yeah we'll do that. Wagon. Well, it's it's not a seventies or it, you know, it's a ninety something. Yeah, you could tell the rounded corners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a V6. Oh, he's muted. <laughs> oh, turn on the lights. Oh, that's got a Bosch alternator in it. <laughs> Damn. I've never seen a wiring harness like that. You got boom box in it or like um oh no, look at the, what's what's up with the, the wires go. Yeah, I've never seen a wiring. Huh. That's interesting. That's the spark plugs? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah, it's been a while since I worked on the camera. Well, I worked on the mouse since I was in six. <clears throat> yeah. But it was a Chrysler. <laughs> and a, um, the Chrysler transmission plant. 
is in Indiana, the hometown I'm from in Indiana. Okay. <clears throat> Where they make well, yeah, what is that? Uh, that looked like a 90, 92 or something, 91. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you said it was early 90s. I used to like the El Caminos. Why the <laughs> fuck is all American? God. My dad used yeah. to have one. He let me drive it every once in a while. I thought. <laughs> and then he went out and bought me an old... <laughs> 1966 Pontiac Bonneville. Oh, that wow. was my first car. <laughs> the thing was okay. a tank. <laughs> Can my Tyson? Tyson smokes weed. I don't know if he does anything else. <laughs> Make people, stupid people famous. He says, "Can, can Tyson pass a drug test?" Uh, ah. Good question. But you know what? I think Jake Paul does but smokes weed too, so yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. Yeah. Trigger. If I could pick this up, I didn't put a video up. I shot the other night after midnight. If do southwest on a clear night, if you look due southwest, you see something that looks like three stars clustered together until you put the zoom on it. It's a comet. It's visible, it's becoming visible. That's the one that's going to pass by first. Hey, you know what? Um, it's an April fifth. Or... Go ahead. You no, know, it's April, April fifth or April eighth. Um, can you bring it? Put your drone up in the sky, and it, when it's dark, do you know how to fly it in the dark, like straight up and down? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're gonna have that eclipse. Maybe try to fucking um, put that thing up in the air and get the eclipse from from your drone. That would be interesting. That's a plan. There you go. That would be cool. That would be <laughs> a hell of a, of a view of the eclipse. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's... I wonder if anybody's thought of that, even put a drone up there and fucking try to film I know oh, uh, April 8th with There's no big doubt cameras and yeah they say um, make stupid people famous and Pat says April 8th April oh it's 8th. during the day okay but <laughs> oh, <duh. laughs> But it, it will be blacked out for four minutes and something, they said. Four minutes. Yep. Yeah. And it's passing right over our area, east coast of Michigan, or east coast of the United States. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite dark. It's not quite bright enough to catch it. Every once in a while you can catch it. Let me get my cam back to normal before I... I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. This is a drunk driver crashing. It's in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Holy shit! Fucker just, it's rolling and it flipped over fucking cars. Holy wow. Crap. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it hit any of those cars. I think it jumped them. Here's, here it is again. Wow. 
<laughs> and it, I think it just it jumped over him, like you said. <laughs> wow. I don't know if the guy lived. I don't, it doesn't say in this article there. Flipping the that was a Porsche too. It was on Plymouth Road. Huh. Well, it says on Plymouth. I'm assuming it's Plymouth Road. He was a drunk driver. I don't say if he's dead or not for injuries. That's <laughs> what happened to my son. Uh, and you know, that's why I uh, <laughs> a little bulldog on a skateboard. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> He's booking along. He's going. <laughs> He's got He's his booking. other foot. Perfe Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. The booker's doing. He's doing Back tricks and everything. <laughs> Damn. He's a badass. Look at him. Yeah. Damn. Weaving in between people and shit. He's, he does a spin on the... <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's too cool. I want one. I'd love to be able to teach my dog some shit like that. Yeah. And he is enjoying the fuck out of it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's Look at him he's dancing on his it. legs. He wants to go fast. <laughs> oh, he's going down. <laughs> Look at that. He's on a boardwalk or something. I just can't believe this thing. He knows how to steer it and everything. Look, down steps. He just went Damn. down steps. They, he might have fell because they stopped it. Big <laughs> man, Seth, to be released after judge dismisses 2009 murder case. That's the one thing I go on. The only thing I really I go on here is for the animal things and the news because it's a Detroit page. Yeah. There, Jay Blues. I'm right here, brother. I thought so. <laughs> I'm refilling the coffee cup, but I'm right here. There you go. Holy cows. All right, making making stupid people famous said he's got to go for the night, but to pray for Trigger uh, to survive. If you're, uh, if you pray, well, good luck, and we'll have plenty of plenty of going out to him. Yeah, Patrick. You're always welcome in here. Appreciate you stopping in. I'm always around here, Pat. Holy cow. Yeah, we send the prayers out to trigger. Oh man. <laughs> what 
what happened? Um, I, I got to replay it. This is hilarious. It's like animals waking up their owners. <coughs> or just other... Oh. And other... <laughs> I gotta go outside. Get up. Come on, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> uh oh. A cat. <laughs> Smacked him in the head. <laughs> I took out the lamp and everything. Look. Holy. Damn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> Damn it, get up. I got him. He's licking his head. <laughs> He's licking his bald head. That's a golden <laughs> retriever for you. Yeah. We've seen that one. That's just... Uh oh. Woman shot at while driving on I 94 in Dearborn. See that tire there? Yeah. That was actually, well, uh, yeah, it's it, it's where they somebody got shot, but they'll show it one more time, I think. There yeah. it is. It was actually a Ferris wheel at the uh, World's Fair in New York, I think, 1920-something. No. Um, and they made it into a tire and brought it to Detroit. Well, they wow. brought it to Detroit and made it a tire. So it's a big fucking tire on the side of the freeway. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It might have been Chicago. It was Chicago or Detroit or um, New York where it was with Ferris wheel. Yeah, they they both had world fairs there. Ooh. Whoa. Mike Reese is up there. He might be backstage. Mike Reese on yeah. the panel and in it. Hey, Mike. Good evening, Mike. Good to see you in here, Mike. Thank you for stopping in, bro. Oh, murder just dropped. Oh, shit. Turtle, are you still there, bud? Yeah, brother. No, I hear you. Yeah, I, the I do, sitting I, right next to me. I tell you what, I've got a, um, I got a cool bit of the uh, ninety-one that I have to edit. It's attached to a completely different video that I was doing, and I, I thought, well, let me just put it in the edit. And I haven't done it yet. I just need to chop it in half. And then one's a 91 and one's an 05. So the 91 Suburban. Pretty cool caravan, man. It's a cool truck. Hell yeah. I'm down to what you need, bud. Man. Big blues. You got the Suburban, bro. You I... I take my car to him because <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 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 excuse is I grew up with a dad that built his own cars and fixed oh, his yeah. own cars. Like if, if an engine if an engine broke, 
he would just replace it and then fix the broken engine when he broken had the time. But no, he just, yeah. just straight engine swap and then worry about the broken engine later, rebuild that and then sell it. Ha! So yeah, I've, I've always been, I grew up on that sort of stuff. If you try and fix it first, if you can't, then you pay someone else to do it. <laughs> but yep. not everybody can do it, that's, that's the thing. Just like being that person that everyone that you know comes to, you get it done cheaper. But nah, <clears throat> don't get a mechanic to oh. charge you freaking 400 bucks. Come around, man. Put me on a barbecue, six pack of rum. We're laughing. It's a very you pay for parts. I'll, I'll do it all for a six pack and a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. Dave Blues just got through putting together a Range Rover that was had been setting for at least a year, maybe more. Um, but I mean, he changed everything um, and put all original parts yeah, on. Old original parts. Yeah, man, that's. They're if you can find them, Range Rover yeah. on them, you know. Yeah. yeah. He was saying that he had to he had to get a couple of parts from over here in Australia. Oh yeah. Was like yeah, like Range Rovers over here, or Land Rovers over here are just like Toyota, Toyota freaking Hiluxes and Land Cruisers. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yep. Like we even use them in the military for fuck's sake. Most of our four by fours are Land Rovers. The new version of the Safari Land Rover. Because <laughs> I know there's two different types of Land Rovers. <laughs> four by four, and then you got the Safari. Um, yikes. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them out there. A fucking shootout. A fucking train two cars and shit in Westland. Okay. Oh shit. Two people rushed to the hospital. Yep. There's a shootout. Wow. A shoot. That's actually out of Detroit. That's where I used to live for about eight years, Westland. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. But they, actually, they run them over. Is that a person run them over or something? I don't know. There's no, um, wait, there's more. Shooting happened Saturday afternoon at a home in Block Marshall near Van Bourne in Middle Belt. Oh, wow. I lived at Van Mer Mer Merriman, just a mile away from there. <laughs> One of the victims drove away and stopped in the area of Merriman. Oh, we got the guy stopped at Merriman and Van Bourne. I lived a few blocks away from there. They were transported to the hospital. CPR was needed. That's about all it says. Ah. I 
hear you, hey. my Greek. I hear you on the universal joint. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I just finished the Land Rover LR3. What yeah. Is Land Rover. And, yeah. Uh, I said Range Rover. I was wrong. No, you're good, bro. You're good. Way good. The difference, the, the difference between the two, actually, when it came down to it, was uh, um, the uh, diameter of the millimeter of the lugs, the tire mount. I think it was like 0.029 versus like 120 on an LR. Ah. Yeah, millimeters. Why would you buy an exploder? Ford Exploder. That's, That's what funny, we call them. Right? That's funny. <laughs> I store that. That's Look at this guy. They, they put a hole in the back of the trunk. What? Yeah. He got to give that on big screen. There we go. I That's just too cool. A hole in the trunk. There you go. <laughs> That's just too cool. That's too cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That was great. Ford Exploder. Sounds like it had misfiring issues. General Motors cars. I, I was one of those. My whole family worked for General Motors, and I had the opportunity to do that when I graduated high school and all that. And I mean, because they retired when they were like 47 years old, because they'd been there 30 years. Well. I just didn't want to sit on the assembly line for 30 years. <laughs> I want to play music. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sounds like a better road to go for me. Yeah. But, Nick, did you know that this guy that I'm working on is a GM product? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holden. GMH. Yeah, GMH General Motors Holden. So, same, same. <laughs> like, that's why it's got the buck in it. It's like the, the, the one that came out in the Grand National uh, V6. Yeah, that's what this is. It's based off the, the L67. The, uh, uh, this one is the, the LN3. I got to let the dog out. The, L26 or 27 or whatever it is. Is that a V8 or a V6, Mike? Six. It's the 3.8 little. 4.4 4. for the 4 hours should be the sick. Oh, yours. The fucking videos people put on this motherfucker. I can't believe they're starting to show nudity and shit on fucking Instagram. But I mean, it's like breastfeeding and shit. I've seen them pop up and shit. I'm like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Thought that shit was not allowed on social media. Damn, 
this one. Have you been playing at all, Mike? Playing at all? They bought it six years ago. Three years, three hundred. That's not bad. What was the mileage? Okay, it has two hundred sixty thousand. Hmm. Well, at least it's from the south. It's not fucking from the Rust Belt. One good thing is it's easy to get to the injectors on the V8. The V6 is, is uh, a little bit of a job. Well, I just pulled the fuel rail and injectors off in one piece. And the six, you, <laughs> the six you're going to be taking off um, the whole intake plenum. And, and yeah, then you can get to them. Extra hours worth of headaches. What the fuck? No way. Uh, um, I don't know. Got no words. You guys remember Jim Abbott, one handed pitcher? Yeah. yeah it's just, they have a video on here He's, when he pitched his no hitter, the end of it. That's amazing. I had one hand and threw a no hitter. That's good, Mike. Yeah, man. Still got that old. I think it was you that said you had that. That old Yamaha piano. You still got that? You probably do. I like that that little boogie piano sound from the small one. Jeez, I'm getting shot everywhere. It's not just there. No, yeah, not just there. That's concerning. Yeah, it's messed up, brother. Big time. I just cracked the first intake bolt and it wasn't even done up. What's your doing, puppy? Oh, yeah, and you want to go out? You want to go out? What do you want to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Want to play some keyboards? Because I'm going to play some keyboards here in a minute. All right, come on. We'll go get them. What do you say? Who's that? Huh? No. 
That's right. hilarious. Yeah. Good puppy. Good puppy. Show you this one after after it ends. Uh, this is funny okay. watching. Sorry, motor. No, I was, okay. no, I was no, looking no, at no. the I apologize. No, 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 please don't. It's, I shouldn't say anything. I should just shut up and read the chat. Okay. The dogs run outside. There's a snowman they built at the steps, and the dogs are tripping out like a snowman. Oh, shit. It looked like the pit bull was the first one out. Yeah, it came back in, Joe. The first one out came back in. <laughs> <laughs> They're barking at a fucking snowman. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Whoops. Wow. Stabbed her 108 times. The wow. girlfriend stabbed him 108 times. Wow. She got sentenced to community service. No. 100. Well, no. In her jail time. last month. Stabbing her boyfriend to death only gets a slap on the wrist. She faced the possibility of life in prison for stabbing him 108 times. But the judge ruling that she had no self control while in a cannabis induced psychosis. Todd Pyro is live no. in the studio. Todd. This is a head scratcher, Ainsley. The judge is sentencing 32 year old Bryn Speecher to 100 hours of community service, two years probation. And the big one, no jail time. She broke down in tears after a jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter last month. California judge oh, claims oh. she had no stabbed him 108 times. Actions after stabbing. That, that would be murder, wouldn't it? Yeah, and he's dead. He killed him. <laughs> I mean, why did they call it manslaughter? She said she was under. Cannabis psychosis or something? I know. There is no such That's thing. That's what I thought. I wasn't going to say anything. I heard the big it's, word come up. I'm going to wait a minute. There ain't no such it's, it's, thing. They're trying to make it look bad now again. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you smoke pot, you'll kill people. Yeah. <laughs> That's. That's the last thing on my mind, you know? It's no big deal. She was doing meth the other night. You know, or, or she was doing coke last night. You know, though she was smoking weed. Well, that's <laughs> definitely one chick you don't want for your girlfriend. Not for the last two months. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's probably another circumstance, the reason why it happened. It's not because she was smoking a joint. No. <laughs> yeah, I've I think, never heard I think of such the, thing. Goes, the fight probably goes a little deeper than that. Unless she smoked his weed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he, smoked, he smoked hers. That's what it was. He smoked hers. He smoked he had her enough weed. Of it. Like, this has got to stop now. <laughs> 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 uh, you know that's the funny thing that the reporter is going to say that kind of shit and not dive deeper into the situation what was the reason why the fight started why was there a violent confrontation it's not because of weed no and even if it's drinking, it's not because of the drinking. There was an issue prior to this for these people to be so violent against each other. 
That's Make correct. No. Recycling <laughs> old toys to separate people again. Just using your. Old- no. Maybe they just met at the bug. He used to beat her or something like that. You know, you don't know. That's kind of. Bam! Everybody fell off. No, I'm. Fell off. Motor fell off. Another good drum beat right there. Yeah, I don't know what happened now. Just, just kicked me off. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't it, know what the hell happened now. Too. But I'm back. That's the main yeah. thing. Yeah. Hopefully play a little bit of music here in a little while. Yeah, I'll play something here in a minute, a couple of minutes here. Turtle in Australia? Yeah, in South Australia. South at the Australia. bottom of the, at the bottom of the middle. Yeah. Originally from the Northern Territory. Up the top in the middle. <laughs> that's, a fourth, that's a fourth or fifth time that I dropped. No. It's both both <laughs> you and Turtle dropped at the same time. Yeah. That booted me too, bro. It's weird. Yeah. Fuck, yep, it came up out. fucking reload on my. Yeah. Put an arrow. Fucking Wi Fi or something. Right. Just dropped right out. Yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, the fentanyl is, it's everywhere. I mean, yeah. for a while here, I don't know about up there, but uh, there were word up with like, be real careful on gas pumps, this two-sided, clear, kind of, just so thin, uh, kind of, tape or something and it was placed on the pump where it'd be between your thumb and forefinger and man that can you how sick is that yeah that's fucked up yeah because that shit will soak into your skin yeah that's crazy I mean, uh, I guess this shit's been happening all along, but it just seems like it's magnified or something. I don't understand. A lot of people out there really fucked up in their heads. He's got lobs. Uh, Yabby. Ooh. It's the neck sized up from like a crawdad. Oh, okay. Or a crawfish. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. Take that away, mother. Ha! <laughs> piece of PVC pipe, man. Just get out the bottom of it, sink it in. That's it. <coughs> That's get one of little hobbies. That's cool. Won't be too long until I'll have a freaking full farm that I can breed them to eat. Mm, yeah, sir. This chick. So the missus has got quails and all that sort of stuff in the backyard. Ah. And you she wants to. Yeah, we've got a. I'm about to put up a greenhouse and. It's 15 foot long, so a third of it's going to be for the quails and the rest of it's going to be for my chili plants and anything else that the missus wants to grow. Ah. So that way we can go back to eating quails. Yeah. Dogs. Wasn't that the same kind of dog you got, Doctor Nick? Oh, oh, no! Oh, I just ah, uh, not forget it now. I just hit up, um. Refresh in the whole fucking yeah. page. Refresh. I don't. Know, I don't know what page it was on now. The whole news feed refreshed. <laughs> Damn. It was uh, like yours, wasn't it? Cute, um, trimmed like a little, little stuffed little animal. It looked kind of like. Yeah, th this one's brown. It was. It, it looked just like it. Yep. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> It was a little bit puffier, though, looking, but it was yeah. perfectly, you know, groomed. He just, <laughs> he just got groomed not long ago, but they <laughs> cut a little short. He's a, he's a cutie. Let's see. We just two. Okay, so. Got my refill. All right. Wow. Yeah, I'm. Just kind of setting here zoning out of where I had two bowls. Man, I still so haven't even smoked heck I'll, I'll smoke with you. All right. This is pretty good. I just got this from my nephew. It's pretty oh, tasty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he always throws me a joint when he gets some new stuff and comes into the neighborhood, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <coughs> That's the only thing I worry about, too, is they say people are going to start relacing that lace and weed and shit oh yes yeah you got well mine yeah. has come from the same source <laughs> for years and years and years and years yeah so that's I why I... but yeah i only I mean, get in mine my from you know? <laughs> I only like getting mine from people I know or a dispensary. Yeah. You know, yeah. Dispens yeah. They have to have it all 
test it and everything at a sure. dispensary. I want to be a tester for a yeah. dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this one I think it's got about 25. What do they what do they call it? Milligrams or whatever. <laughs> right. How do I get that done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have to Google that. <laughs> See yeah. if we can apply. <laughs> I want to be a marijuana tester. <laughs> Imagine that sitting around all day fucking smoking different kinds of weed. I Yeah, I'd be in there one unproductive day. Oh. Poor dear. What you got there, buddy? I'm trying to get this work a little bit of view of this. Uh, got Mike Reese in there. He wants to hear some of that piano. I think Sounds good. Still I get some blues and organ for Mike. Yeah, we do that key G, bro. Why not? Any particular song that you're gonna do, or just? Nah, I'm just jam in the. Yeah, just jamming. No, I'm not doing anything that we do or anything. I'm just yeah. jam. That's yeah. the way it is tonight. Just free jam. Yeah. All right. So let's see, what I gotta do? I gotta take a name off of it. Wait a minute. It gets in the way of everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, that'll There work. it is. That's, the, top. that's right. the right angle. Okay. Hopefully that will not. Yeah, that's sturdy. Okay. Yeah.
awesome <laughs> gotta love it live too I'm sitting in my shed working on a car and this is just I'm almost lost for words <laughs> I like Mike Reese's Smoke weed for a living. This one made me eat a lot. That one made me sleep. The other one made me sink in the couch, and I love it. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, yeah. This one, met one, I wanted pizza. This one, I just wanted ice cream. This one, I just wanted to hang out and listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> I love that background, man. Would he say that one is using dog shit? <laughs> <laughs> Labrador and something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to follow his Labrador around for. <laughs> <laughs> he had to follow him around for a week. <laughs> <laughs> got a few different ones. Um, got the storm that hit last year, the one that um took that tree down in my backyard. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Oh shoot! There we go. That's the oh, storm that shit. hit. No kidding. Yep. Get there we go. Wow, that looks right. like a tornado right behind the city. Man, that's a serious. You, yeah, I was going to say. Oh. The only problem is, is that black cloud behind that building is probably about three miles wide. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, you, you know, know. it's because it's like. 10, 20 miles in the distance. Yes. yes. That, storm, that storm ran through my neighborhood. 
and that's 20 miles away, that picture, to be Damn. honest. It's fucking mean, crazy. That was, that was a big hole that the tree left in the ground. <laughs> four, that, that at that least was, four and a half feet deep. Yeah. <laughs> then my I almost um, didn't see you when I first looked at that. <laughs> oh, I actually have that on here, Doctor Nick. I actually have it a virtual background. Here it is, right here. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, you can barely see. I didn't even know it was you standing in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I can put, a, you know, basically any picture that I want in there. Yeah, that. I, I've got a background picked out for me I and all all it is is stage lights that's just okay. stage lights that look like they're shining down on you and stuff. of course me and Jay Blue's have enough stage lighting for 10 people my god <laughs> Oops, I better turn this down. I wish there was a couple of these things I could show you guys, but it might not be appropriate for YouTube. Ah. Some of these videos. <laughs> that remind me, anyone in the chat, um, there was, uh, and it is, pin, uh, um, broke fish and pinned it for me, the rumble, uh, but I noticed something up on rumble at the link, it, there's one part that says, you know, subscribe, or if you even care to go up to rumble, but you can follow, I don't know why on earth I do not ask for money from anybody. And um, you will never see me ask for money from anybody that subscribes <coughs> with me or comes in the chat. Um, no way. So I was kind of like, why is that there? But um, I'm sure Broke knows why. I don't know. But um, do not hit that follow is cool if you do go up to rumble we are live on rumble right now <clears throat> right, jay blues will never yeah. ask a penny from anybody would somebody put your link in there i'm just as honored as having people in the chat so it's all good yeah Yeah, we only play for money when the bar is paying us. <laughs> what the fuck is... Oh, this is in France or Belgium? Yeah, see, these motherfuckers don't play around when they protest. <laughs> Over in Europe, they're oh, yeah. having them big protests and shit. Tractors are coming in. They're like, you want to come in with the fucking cop cars? Okay, we'll, we'll bring in the fucking farm equipment. <laughs> Damn.
I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, I think that was, that was a couple of weeks ago. I think I saw that. Or it's still going on. I think it's still going on, J. Bush. Yeah. I really do. Five watching, welcome into the green room. Come on in, total chill zone. Are you still on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, it's streaming on both. Let's see. Um, you don't have the share option on, do you? Mm -mm. No. What do you mean, share option? Um, like restream option. Yeah, it is. Is it? How come I won't? Oh, maybe it's just because it's I'm on the tablet. Huh. I don't see it in the options on this thing. Share video. Man, that backdrop's killer. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I see a neat photo or an old photo like that, I try to grab them. <laughs> I'm always searching through pictures. That's what I was going to try to do is find that one page I forgot. Here I'm got stuck watching these animal videos. <laughs> <laughs> I I do the same thing. Uh, I'm they picked up my algorithm or whatever it is, and they send me golden retriever um, videos constantly. Email so, their support hat. They they will address. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Dave. Or, no, no. Um, I, 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 Dave I'm email sorry, the, Dave. Email the support uh, and, and they'll address it because uh, that's the only email. If that's all you have, they'll address that real quick. And they'll make you make a new password and stuff. Unless you deleted the old account. Huh. If you deleted the old account, you just make a new one. I haven't been on Rumble in I don't know how long. For when I first got on there, that was the last time basically. I think I might have, well, I was on there with Broke on his live, but I came up on YouTube, you know, through when he was live on YouTube. But he'll end the show and be on Rumble. So. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, you just tell him you're trying to make a new account, and um, and um, you, that is your only email. They'll probably send a link which will let you uh, do a new one. Oh, here's this. Uh, wait, I gotta take the background. I have it there, just but that's cool. It's there. I'm a YouTuber. I love YouTube. There we go. Here's that bird. It's um. <laughs> it barks. No way. It does. 
Watch. <laughs> You're my sweetest addiction. You're my strongest inspiration. And I love it's true. There's no mountain I could not climb. As long as you are mine, I thank you for being you. That Come on now, that, that bird's family, man. That that's not no. That's not a normal bird. Your guys. Whenever you need me, yeah, bird loves it. I love you more and more and more. It's outside, it's not going away. I love you more and more and more. It barks. (laughs) I just love it. You're my sweetest. Look, it flies away. It comes back. It's not like they're holding it captive. Yeah. It wants to be there. It's yeah. part of the family. I mean, it, it's constantly. You don't have to put me again. But it's every video they got, the birds just like hanging out in the house with them. Yeah. You're my sweetest. You're it, my sweetest. Wait, where did my fucking um page go? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what I did. I'll just turn it off. It was recording the audio. How did I do that? <laughs> I'm on Instagram too. That was cool. I never seen anything like that. Yeah, you know, and somebody reported their page. They said, oh, and no they, yeah, and they sent like the animal, whatever. Like he, like turtle said, the things are. Endangered species. <laughs> yeah, they, they they saved that last rhino, white rhino, pretty good. He got fucking killed by a poacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They're worried about they're worried about a bird and fucking kids are out there. Who knows what's going on? You know? for nobody. Nope. Then people were taking good care of that bird. Yeah. There's, there's no... But it is a protected species. Yeah. They can protect that. <laughs> yeah, because why is the man doing it? That's Actually insane. One pit. That is like one of the kinds. That's... I, 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 how many left? That's what I want to know, though. Is there like a, less than a hundred of them on the planet? You know, it. The They're thing fell out bird. of the tree. It fell out of the tree. They're it was going to be dead. Bird. It would have died if they They're didn't pick it up. Dude, yeah, but it would have died. That you're not even allowed to pick up a feather off the floor. If you get seen with a certain cockatoo's feather, you will go to court. You will get wow. in trouble. Like wow. you're not even allowed to touch a feather that's on the ground because it's no indigenous kidding. protection. Like most of this is all from the indigenous people of this land. I ain't got no problem with that. Wow. Their land. They can do whatever they want with the animals here. Well, yeah, that's true too, but you know, this is a rare thing. You see how that bird was acting. I've, I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Yeah. You know, they nursed it alive. That thing was laying on the ground, dying. Out, It fell out of the nest when it was a baby. And they took yeah. care of it since then. So, 
so much for extinction because it was dead. They saved it. <laughs> no, they're supposed to pick it up and take it to the nearest RSPCA or the nearest freaking place yeah. and hand it over to us. Unless a lot of things we should be doing. species like, you know, carers or something, which you can go and get your license and, and be able to do that. Yeah. So there are um, ways around it. It's just people just think that you can just walk out and play with an endangered species or an endangered or a free protected species just because, oh, you know, it's look how cool it is and stuff. Look how big, look what the look is going on. It's like, it's so amazing. It's like out I'm of gonna, a nursery rhyme or a storybook and stuff. And it's I'm dead. Gonna predict you're missing the, the main go. parts of the, the laws around the animals. I'm going to predict the way that bird go. <laughs> I really do. Because that's you just... Know what? Like my missus, Most of them my missus will used to fly uh, back. raise baby joeys, like baby kangaroos, from uh, bloody when their mothers get hit by cars and stuff out in the rural areas. Oh, yeah. yeah she was. She had a full license and everything through her mum to be able to look after the joeys. And once they got to a certain freaking age, they had to be released back in the wild. Can't keep them as a pet unless you have a license for them to be a pet. No kidding. You had yeah, to so you can go and get your licenses and, and certificates and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. You can you can turn your hobby into a business. Like if you really, really want to do. You can become a charity yeah. for helping sick animals and protected yeah. species and endangered species and stuff. So, be right back. But no one wants to do that. Everyone wants to be the oh my goodness, look at this beautiful story on the news and on, on social media. Did you, and stuff. Did you know magpies are in Europe? <laughs> Did you know that magpies are in Europe? Whales and yeah, they're um, in Ireland. Europe. I'm pretty sure you got them. They're in some places in America. Yeah. You're the only place that they're protected, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, you're saying that they're in... They're, they're, I'm pretty sure you got magpies as well. Yeah, well, I'm just saying um, there's 550,000, they say, left on the planet or whatever, but Australia is the only place they're protected. I'll be damned. Now, I tell you what, I had a woodpecker, red-headed woodpecker, that was pecking in the peak of my house. He was right in the peak. <laughs> Pecked a hole in there and shit. Well, I went up in the attic and caught him and put him in a cage and I got my okay. ass chewed for doing that. Because really? I was going to turn it into, you know, I called the people on the phone and said, here, I've got me. I got my, you take it out of that cage immediately. Yeah. That's, that's a protected species. Yeah. You know, yeah, you I got the same. Specimens. I had um, called in for the two raccoons I caught in my yard. And I called in to have them, you know, see if they'd come and take them and drive them somewhere. Yeah. And, and they said, nope, you got to let them go, too, within 24 hours. Look, and I was like, that's, what? That's exactly. And they told me, you, you should probably drive them 20, over 20 miles away or they'll come back. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, so now I gotta let them out in 24 hours and I gotta drive them fucking away from my house. Okay. That's the Watch same what thing happened. they told me about that woodpecker was they that... went on a trip, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got mine with a BB gun, I think. <laughs> so much for them protected. <laughs> yes. You see the hole in my roof over here? Yeah. I probably got a couple of them. Jeez. I don't know. I think there was one hole in the ground back there. Because I know I had to take three shots. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn.
Got one with one, two with the other. No way. Yeah. And then they fucking they got in my house too. That's what holy you know, shit. See, yeah, they got they in the get attic. In the house like that. That's he was up in my attic, you know. Yep. Yep. And I haven't been up there since. I mean, not in this part of the attic. I was up in the other part. But who knows what it looks like? Did they trash it? You know, like the yeah. fiberglass. I don't. I don't know what they do. But some people have told me they they'll trash your attic. But I don't have nothing up there. Maybe they had stuff in their attic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's anything up there. <laughs> the only thing up in my what attic. Is my what are we room. talking about? Raccoons. Yeah. Yeah. It will sound like jackhammers in the middle of the night when they go to work up oh, there. Yeah, you hear them fucking. It sounds like they're running everywhere, but they're actually like <laughs> scrapping or digging. <laughs> yep. And they got up in there during the fucking winter time too, when it's freezing cold. It was like <laughs> I really didn't want to get up there. It was freezing in the house, even still cold. That's when Damn. the power went out too. Damn. Three power outages within the last fucking year. Is that right? Yeah. Two of them were bad for four or five days. <laughs> Ouch. <clears throat> we had a hurricane come through here. I uh, can't remember. 89, maybe? 88, 89 that we were without power for nine days. So Oh damn. What were the while was that Hugo? Hugo. Yeah. Yeah. It hmm. knocked over a tree in my backyard and my power lines were running overhead, you know. And it came down and took I mean, literally ripped the meter and everything right off the wall of the house. <laughs> yeah, it, it that big one knocked my wire down, and it did rip the um, the eye bolts out of the house that the wire was on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I wish we would have got that fucking tree out of there today. Damn. But I told him the fucking ground's too goddamn soft. He didn't listen. Is that tree in your backyard? Um, the big yeah, one? there's two of them. Well, there's a, yeah, this one's been dead for a long time. Um, my old dog would go in this tree, the bottom of the tree, in be behind it. One day I'll go back and film it when you guys are watching or something in the chat or you're on a There's a hole in the tree and the dog would go in it like a doghouse. The oh, hole shoot. inside is eaten out. The dog can no. sit in there. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, I've never seen my husky go in there. My Australian cattle dog used to go in there. That's yeah. where she had her puppies. <laughs> I'll be damned. <laughs> yep. You wonder what the but hell was holding it up? It's like a quarter of it's still alive. I don't know how, but it does grow leaves. <laughs> <laughs> But after that storm, I don't know. I haven't, it hasn't bloomed yet. This is the first year after a winter. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll see if it comes back to life. Because everything back there looks like a skeleton crew. All the trees. Like the storm just went through. There's no leaves or nothing. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. 
Have a good night. Have a, have a great weekend. Pat, love you. See you later. Well, I did get. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Excuse me, pizza. <laughs> It was getting a couple notifications, but I wasn't paying attention. Brian went live. There's you. Marissa AP. came up on my notifications. Yep. <clears throat> I was going to say her, too. I forgot about her going live tonight. Oh, that's right, because they usually do it Saturday, Saturday, and it's Friday. Yeah. Wallace did just tell me, too, yesterday. <laughs> that's right. Oh. I thought they always went live on Sunday. It's Saturday, usually. It's Saturday. And I guess, because they... They usually do a three-hour live or something, and um, they do it Saturday, Sunday's Easter. So I That's guess right. they don't. They want to. I guess they're doing Easter family things or whatever. Yeah, which is understandable. Move it up a day. I just thought about, will that interfere with our audience on Sunday if we put on a live show? Because people um, will be with family and stuff. Well, you know, a lot of people on here that um, hang out in the chats and that, a lot of us are on our own. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. There, there is a lot of people. You know, we don't so, do anything for Easter, so I mean, I'm wide open. We don't do anything anyway. Well, doesn't it get like that after you get older and your kids get, you know, grow up? You, you yeah. stop celebrating the little holidays you know, like yeah. you used to. Christmas is still, you know, but yeah, we. We turned Christmas into a family thing, though. And it seemed like um, Thanksgiving. There's certain holidays that are like a family thing. Sure. Easter is more like um, it's religious, but then again, they turn it into the Easter bunny stuff. And, um, it's you know, how how you Yeah. Uh, that people, adults, they understand these things and they know certain things are, you know, we made it up for the kids. <laughs> for them to enjoy yeah. the day. Yeah. It kind of goes out, goes away after. <laughs> yeah, after you get a certain age, it just, you don't want to do it no more. Well, we, we, when's the last time you trick-or-treat it, you know, as a kid? Oh, yeah. My God! I think maybe fifteen, sixteen. Last yeah. time I trick <laughs> <laughs> I remember painting my face like Gene Simmons. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trigger treat. Yeah. I was a clown one year, but I was always in to just go buy a fucking mask or something and put on some jack a jacket or something that would. You know, make an outfit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell, some of our friends. Go ahead, Jay Blues. Definitely um, changed the whole thing with the Halloween. I mean, we were. Back then, there's no telling what was going to happen and who you were hanging with. <laughs> You'd say in the last 10 years, I've probably had like five trick or treaters. Uh, Maybe. Oh, really? Yeah. And there were kids that lived on the block. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's rare because there's they don't like you we were saying they don't celebrate uh, you, I, I live in a cul-de-sac so we take a table and put it out on the sidewalk with a big bowl of candy in it, and people just my neighbors do the same thing. And they just walk by and they have these candy. Around no here now, I they just them. don't. Yeah, that, that's, that's a cool way to do it. Because it's more of a neighborhood thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, here, around here, they just pass out candy at like, the police stations. Or... Like you said, the neighborhood will go to the park and pass out candy or some building, like a, a lounge type thing, and ah. you know, pass out candy there. Just everybody drives their kid up there, gets candy, and goes home. That's <laughs> like yeah, the whole fun of it. <laughs> Way you don't have to worry. About, you, know, you never know. So, to think we used to fill up. Yeah. To think we used to fill up like a half of a fucking pillowcase. A oh fucking yeah. Game. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have candy fucking till. <laughs> winter time <laughs> there'd be still some hanging out <laughs> it seems that the trick part of it has come I mean we used to throw eggs at the doors of oh. houses you oh that, this is a night before you mean regular. devil no wait a minute no New just York? regular eggs we didn't do that in New York yeah yeah <laughs> now that wasn't that the night before Devil's Night? Mischief Night, remember? Been yeah, we, we, yeah, we called it Devil's Night in Detroit. Be I mean, really? if you guys ever remember, Detroit used to have like 300, 400 fo fires on Halloween. Motherfuckers Holy would just light up and bang in houses just for fun of it. <laughs> Damn. I'm not I'm not shitting you. Maybe I'm wrong on the numbers. Might be a hundred and something. But I, I know there, there usually was a lot of fires on Halloween all the time. Or not not Halloween, Devil's Night. And then they start policing the neighborhoods like neighborhood watch type thing. And then they start changing it to Angels Night. So and it kind of worked. I mean you know, you don't have the same mischief as there used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, yeah. it's it's a major city. You're still going to get murder and everything else, but... Yeah. Uh, right. I remember we used to take M80s and put them in people's mailbox. Yes, sir. Blow that fucker off the walls. I've done that before. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette for the timer. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> light, yeah. light a bag of, uh, yeah, light a bag of dog shit on their porch. Knock on the door. No, I've never, I've <laughs> heard out and that. I've never done it before, but I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We did some bad things. <laughs> yeah, there was some crazy shit. You know, toilet paper on the trees. And... Yeah. Oh my gosh. The, the girls would go out and do the pee poo. It, se it seemed like the girls were the ones that always did the TP. And they would ah. go and hit somebody's house. The car would be TP'd, the trees, the fucking bushes, the house. We just. You wake up in the next morning and walk by a house and there's like fucking toilet paper everywhere. It's like, yeah. holy shit, man. 
How many rolls did they use here? <laughs> I, I, I never did that. I, I did the eggs, and we used to stick horns, too. That was, you just grab a stick, not lay long. And back then, nobody locked their car. <laughs> so you'd open the door, and in between the seat and the horn, you'd put that stick in there, and it, ah, you know, because ah, a wire um, or a metal piece of the yeah. horn was. No, never thought of something like that. Thick horn. That's some down home Indiana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would never have thought of that. Never yeah. would I have thought of that. That's a good one, though. Yeah. <laughs> that would drive me nuts <laughs> and be the neighbor and your neighbor's fucking horns going off in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, we did some bad shit too back then. I mean, people want to talk about vandalism and shit and crime. We were kids. Broke into a lot of fucking buildings and shit. Um, businesses around Old Redford. <laughs> Back when we were kids, and we got away with it because there were no cameras back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Turtle, you got that, that feedback. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you got that feedback again. Sorry. And repeat what you said when you come back. I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the shit we we used to um make snowballs or ice balls and throw them at cars, but we'd put rocks <laughs> in, the in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Quote. I'm telling you, I've I've done that before, but the guy slammed on his brakes and started chasing my ass. So I was running. Yeah, we've had it happen. <laughs> I think my buddy Paul got caught. He got kicked, pushed down, and kicked a couple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was the slowest runner. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the. It's not funny, but it's funny now. <laughs> I don't have to be faster than him. All I got to be is faster than you. <laughs> yeah. I even was I was fast enough to turn around and watch it. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. And I wasn't going back because it's two grown adults, you know, two guys fucking yeah. kicking on it. I'll come back and pick you up if I have to. <laughs> He met us over our buddy Mary's house at, after all that. We got chased away from Lasher and Curtis we were at. <laughs> all right, those were the days. Yeah. What was that? I was too scared when I was a kid to break into places or break into a car or a house or a business or anything like that. It wasn't that there was no cameras. It was the if someone walks up behind me, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm yeah. not going to put myself in a position to cop a baseball bat to the back of the head because I'm now dealing with someone who doesn't call the cops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm too scared to do that. Too. You know, there's things back in the days. Um, I don't know. How old are you, are you Journal? I mean, you're in your 40s or 30s? 41. Okay, yeah. Um, but I mean, back in the 70s and early 80s, it was a lot different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything was a lot different. I mean, we didn't have 
worry about guns and shit. People used to fight with fists and yeah. knives and shit back then. You used to go in the back alley and whip each other's ass, you know. Yeah. Nobody was going to come back and shoot your fucking house up. No. <laughs> Pack of cigarettes was what fifty. Like everyone, so yeah, everyone has like, all these dumb people have got a gang mentality somehow. Like you fuck with me, I'll come back with a gun instead of my gang because I belong to a gang. But I've got a gun, that's good enough. It's like you, you're a fucking muppet. That's all they need nowadays. You get into a fight, you lose. Well, that means you need to go train because I have a I have a philosophy. If you fucking, uh, bloody, what is it? Uh, now I've forgotten. <laughs> well, there is yeah, a philosophy. It, I just forgot it. <laughs> no, the, yeah, you need to learn if you always lose. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. You, you better change strategy. <laughs> Just change strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing the opposite of whatever you're doing. Because the other <laughs> one's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of bobbing and weaving right, go left. Go left. <laughs> <laughs> and hope that he doesn't throw a left. <laughs> I'm just messing, but yeah, after so many times, you got to fucking learn or give it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try something else in life. We yeah. used to. Um, I mean, also, <laughs> what's that in the head? Can't punch them, cut their brakes. <laughs> it's always the way around it. <laughs> but yeah, we were, I don't know, we didn't care back then either to, yeah. to think of the stuff that we would do. And then, you know, I, I can even remember times. We jump ramps, jump off buildings, climb buildings. Um, you know, just do the most mo harmful things. I mean, you'd go out and play with your friends, and somebody'd fall off of something, land on their head, fucking. You're like, oh fuck, Johnny's dead. You know, <laughs> Did he, you know is he okay? <laughs> and, our, and our parents never found out about it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. it was just. <laughs> we never, don't tell nobody <laughs> what happened. <laughs> if there was always injuries, it was oh he fell off his bike. Yeah, we like, always oh, make okay, something up. <laughs> he hit a tree on his bike, or he fell off his bike and got a graze on the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he fell down the stairs and I had somebody's house on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, even back in the day, we used to be like, I'm staying over doc Dr. Nick's house. Dr. Nick would be, I'm staying over at Turtles. And Turtle would be say, I'm staying over at Jay Blues. And we'd all go hang out and walk the streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could go ride, ride all the way to the other end of town. Yep, you fucking roam in the streets in the middle of the fucking world. My mom caught Ooh, on to that after a while. Took her a while, but <laughs> then she she wanted to talk. I want to talk to the parents of where yep. you're staying. Yeah, I think it had, that happened after a while. Damn. <laughs> I think I said it before. I don't know if you guys were on the panel. Um, we had a rock fight. And these were, you know, good solid rocks we were throwing. And um, one of the guy's sister got hit in the head. And she was bleeding. 
And um, yeah. all the kids' parents, we met over at one of the, the parents' house, and we had to do yard work and everything for all the parents down the block. And the next block, you know, on the, there was two blocks, one connected to the other, in L shape. Those two blocks, we had to do ever, all the parents' these fucking houses for like, I don't know, a month or something. Yeah. We were punished. And then had to pay for, um, oh, we broke a window too. And then we did break a window. <laughs> we had to pay for it. <laughs> Big D. Big D. What's going on, Big D? How you doing, man? Remember filling up a wagon. We'd go around the corner and get rocks out of somebody's flower bed. We'd take all the rocks (laughs) out of the flower bed. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Load up. (laughs) Oh, yeah. We got. <laughs> These kids don't know what being a kid is anymore. <laughs> Play, playing tackle football fucking in the street. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Until somebody got hurt <laughs> bad. Yep. Like <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rug- oh, I've never played yard game. Gang up tackles. Uh, uh, a buddy of mine actually played. I don't know what school or where they were doing it, some recreation center in Livonia, but one of my friends played rugby. And he said it was fucking really tough, really rough. <laughs> no pads and shit and full tackle. <laughs> yeah. We don't need, like, you know, sliced oranges after every tackle. <laughs> we, we played tackle down at the YMCA and um, yeah, yeah. it was hardcore tackle it, I mean there's nothing yeah. like playing without pads and people are throwing their bodies around <laughs> like, okay, like they're getting paid <laughs> now we uh, nothing like playing baseball in the neighborhood, uh, yeah, during the summer, you better get down there early because teams would fill up. You'd have to wait till the next game during the summer. <laughs> if you were playing in the street with hardball, there was always that one house way out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, actually played with a rubber ball um, and played fast pitch from the middle of the street to the porch steps and the batter would bat at the porch steps like like the second, third and fourth steps were a strike zone anything out of that and we'd you know, put up something so how wide it was you know, and I remember putting a week. I think we took out a couple pieces of wood on the porch steps just from hitting it so many hundred times, you know, thousands of times or whatever it was. <laughs> Never put nobody's windows out. Because <laughs> we were batting straight across the street, you know. <laughs> oh, the old time days of baseball. Yep. With the Lacrosse Indian rubber ball. <laughs> yep. Old strikeout. We played that off the school wall, too, in the playground. Have paint, spray paint a square and just play, you know, fast pitch. <laughs> That's only if we had like four players. You know, we just go play off two people on each side or something. And just play off the fast pitch off there, and one guy in the outfield, and all the way near the fence. Ha. Yeah, oh, man. It's good old days. Yeah. A whole different. Man, yeah. uh, 
Shit, I don't even know if the kids would even know what a frisbee is. You guys play frisbee? Yeah, they play frisbee golf now. Oh yeah. See, yeah, I, one of my sons plays frisbee golf. So. That yeah, that's totally different. Them are like discs. <laughs> I guess they do fly. Yeah, they just can, not the same. You can spend a lot of money on the disc that you use to play golf with, you know. You can spend yeah. a lot of money on those. Yeah, I think um, my buddy was saying they're like 75 bucks a piece or 50 bucks a piece for those wow. things. Wow. Because uh, he does have them in the backyard. Um, when I Well, when we were younger, I remember him having the little cage with the yeah. pole. Around, around, yep. <coughs> yeah, he, had, he, him, and his dad, I guess, did that. I never played it, but we always played with the big frisbees, the whammo frisbee, one sixty-five oh, yeah. or one fifty-six. Yep. <laughs> there you go, Big D. You got the biggest quota tonight, yeah. <laughs> Go to the bush and make hope. Yeah, well, that we use BB guns. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been shot in the ass with a BB gun before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I was just talking about it earlier. If you were on the were you on the panel earlier, Jay Blues, my buddy Brian got shot right here. You know, right around the eye, and we stopped. After that, yeah. it was like, yeah. you know, he almost took his hand out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it it's uh, it happened back in New York. I, I it's uh, I remember a kid getting hit right in the same place, and that was the end of that game immediately. Yep. Yep. <laughs> On to the next device <laughs> I, I think the worst I ever did was to take a bow and arrow with something <laughs> up and uh, I just fucking around shot it at the 50 gallon fish tank oh, stuck, yeah. stuck to the glass and I was like I would take it off and fuck it wow just that fucking way. wide open get it burst yeah. out the whole wide thing open, after that? Wide open, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a 50-gallon fish tank um, break in the dining room. <laughs> the whole fucking goddamn dining room was flooded. My mom was so fucking pissed. No more... Yo, no more fish tanks in this fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't mine, though. And it was a big one. I mean, we had um all kinds of fucking fish in that thing. I don't know who was keeping up. My uncle and my brother, I think. I was too young then. But I do remember it. <laughs> yeah, the... The upkeep is the biggest thing with those. I mean, I like aquariums or, you know, big fish tanks like that, but damn, the upkeep is yeah, unreal. Yeah, my uncle came back from Vietnam and my mom was, after she divorced with my dad, um, she let him move in. And I mean, like he, um, can you see that night? Can you see that nightstand? He actually yeah. made that. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Huh. I mean, the guy, the guy was a, a, a master. Would he used to make little toys like cars and trucks and that. Made a fire truck. Um, it, he was great. Wood, you know, with wood. Damn. <laughs> He actually um, built a, ch a china cabinet that we had back in the day, and it was it wasn't like home. It didn't look homemade, you know. It, it was professionally done. Like 
the guy was great. I had a guy that I knew years ago, and I think I still got the cherry pit. He took a cherry pit, as small as it is, and took his carving knife and made a basket out of it. A little tiny cherry pit. And he made a basket out of it by carving and whittling. And People fucking figure out some wild shit, man. Yep. <laughs> They're probably just bored fucking doing yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. That's what he enjoyed doing. <laughs> with a, he had a special knife and he would just sit there and whittle. There's, that's my favorite song. You got too loud with it. Like, just, boy, let's take this. Yeah. Man, I've been thinking out. I gotta do something this year. Maybe do a little trailing. If I can come up with some money. <laughs> Actually, my neighbor was just telling me about since we had that storm, he said, um, he just dropped. <laughs> He's plight. <laughs> Be right back. Yeah, I'd like to see some kind of uh, outing. How'd I get up here twice? I have no idea. Well, oh, there we go. Yeah, I dropped off. It said fucking um, reload streamyard. I dropped. I was gone. So I don't know how the other one was up here still. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Me up Back Steve's. You know, it kicked us both out again at the same time. Turn What's the chances of that, Jay Booz? He's in Australia um, or in New Zealand, and I'm in Detroit. <laughs> What's the New Zealand? Oh, okay, I'll tell you. Twice. I was talking to that. I wasn't nowhere near the screen. Fucking. <laughs> We cheat, man. We cheat. Yeah, I seen that too. Um, where that guy carves, makes little carvings out of a piece of rice. Have you ever seen that? The guy takes a piece of rice and draw or carves it or cuts it. I don't. You have to look this up. It's insane. Piece of rice carving. <laughs> it's a piece of rice. Oh, I can hear you. And it's a little mouse. Yeah, I've seen those. Dude is looking on another level. I mean, it looks like a little dragon or something. That's a, a needle it's sitting on. 
Let me blow that up. It's actually sitting on a needle eye. The eye of a needle. That's a piece of rice. <laughs> That's insane. How in the hell do you make a carving like that? Uh, there, here, I'll show you another one. Wow. It's on his, it's on his finger now. It's a piece of rice. Oh, uh, here, here's a piece of a rose. Rice carving. It's fucking crazy. And I mean, what do you think he gets for these carvings? Oh, man. <laughs> some some millionaires buying those things. Or they're just, I don't know. That's crazy. How do you do it? I don't get it. There's no way. It's on the head of a, a little nail. Gotcha. One of those real little nails. That's crazy. It's on the head of a little nail. Or tack. Tack like nail. It's incredible. Huh. Yeah, that's, Sh that's incredible, brother. There's a lot of pictures if you Google rice carvings and then go to images. Hmm. <sighs> Damn, that makes me... It sounds a little like sticks. You're playing this, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Little... That's, that's why I can't wait to do the live show over the weekend. Big D says he, he he has the dogs out. He could see the red moon coming up. Now, I'm assuming in that neck of the woods, you would have to look west. You might be able to see the comet. I should have put that video up earlier, but they didn't have the cam super stable. But, uh, wow. Portrait of a world map on the head of a pen. Wow. Wow, really? Is it like the globe? Or I didn't see that one. But I did see one. It looked like there was a drawing of a female face on a like flat surface. And it looked like it had some Chinese writing next to the face. So maybe it was a carving of their wife or somebody or mom. Or... <clears throat> like, do a portrait. 
this rice. Imagine. What are you what is he using to make that carve that that small? I don't get it. I wonder if they got a video of the guy doing it. Like the time lapse, you know what I'm talking about? And it's that cool background again, where he's like right <laughs> before the cops come up to the window. Yep. Wants to know your name, man. He's sitting in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be kidding me. That's funny. Yep. Now there was, uh, I forgot where this one was. It, it, there's, it, oh, there's so many documentaries with Cheech Marin. The rumor is he never smoked weed. Yeah, I've heard that before. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm not imagining. That. I've heard. No, that. I heard it before too. Okay. And yeah. they weren't they weren't that good of friends either. Yeah. To be honest. That's a, yeah. Sounds that like a road band. Yeah. Um, Cheech is actually a smart motherfucker. Whenever they did that celebrity, um. Jeopardy, he'd fucking wipe everybody out. Wow. He, he wanted a few things. And Cheech is a fucking smart guy when it comes he to was, trivia. He was the bartender in this in Antonio Banderas movie. I can't remember what? the name of the movie. You mean the door guy, Dust of Dawn? Yeah, probably. Or was he the bartender too? He was the bartender. In, okay. And Antonio Banderas pulled his character in the guitar case. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, he was also like the door man at the um, bar, the, t the titty twister. Remember Dust the Dawn with, um, what's his name? God damn, the guy, Quentin Tarantino and the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah he, he, Damn, I can't think of that second guy's name. But you know it's a movie I'm talking. They go to Mexico and that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, what's her name? Oh, she's hot. Um, geez, I can't even think of her name. Selma Hayek. Is oh that it? yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She. She was hot in that movie. Yeah. Uh, virgin monks are carving those? <laughs> Probably. Oh, well. <laughs> virgin monks? <laughs> the samurai is using a ginsu. <laughs> <laughs> Carve this one in less than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, tomorrow. Yeah, no, no, we got the 31st. Tomorrow's 31st. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Monday's the first. Hey, Mike, move around for me, brother. There he is. What's up, guys? There he is. <laughs> What's up? 
Yeah, yeah, just figured I'd come up and say hi. Just figured I'd come up and say hi. It's been up, been a while since I've been up here. <laughs> cool. Welcome How aboard. It's good to see Motor City. I haven't. I always talk to Motor City and Chad. I've never seen him. Never seen the face. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> good to see you, guy. Thanks for stopping in. For sure. <laughs> It's Friday night. I stay up late on Friday night. I was like, hey, come up and say hi. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Always been, welcome. Been making the fingers so I've just been jamming out on the guitars and playing around. And I'm like, I got to take a break. <laughs> I, see you got, I see you got a guitar in the background up there. There's three of them back there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm, make, I'm making excuses. <laughs> that's that's the main one. That's the one that I play most of the time. That's my Ivan. Nice. We. There it is. There we go. You guys, we got a bass player. Uh, you guys need to meet up. Yeah. Put down, lay down some tracks. <laughs> yeah. Mike's up there, I think, up above your neck of the woods. Oh yeah, I'm in, up, I'm in Michigan. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm down what right part? around Ann, Ann Arbor area. Oh okay, you're not that far. Yeah. I'm um west side of Detroit. All right. I don't know if you know where 96 and Telegraph is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like a mile and a half from there. No, okay. no, about two miles. That's not too bad then. Yeah, I'm very west side of Detroit. Yeah, I think we can go down to we can make it down to like Greek Town or Motor City to let down like down to the casinos and probably like yeah. forty five minutes to an hour. It's nice down there at Green Town Greek Town. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I don't like spending all the money. <laughs> That's the only thing about it. You better bring money if you want to go down to Greek Town, now, especially if, if you're going I, to the casino. If I go to the <laughs> casino, I take what I want to, whatever I take, I want to lose. So if I take 200 yeah. bucks, that's it. I walk out, my money's gone, I'm gone. <laughs> you know? And that's what I used to play with, 200 bucks all the time. Yeah. I, I'm not lying. I play blackjack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I lost that 200, I went home. Didn't bring my fucking credit cards. Didn't bring no other money. Maybe have some money out in the car for gas for emergency. You know? <laughs> in case if I needed it. <laughs> Make, oh, some I, extra, make some extra coin while the going's good and throw the 200. Don't look back for a month or two. Throw it in a Bitcoin and then go look at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm true, still man. actually, yeah. Well, I'm still up on the casino. Um, cause we were, I learned the meth member of the movie 21. That was an MIT. Them oh, guys yeah. went down to Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. I, I learned all that shit. How to bet and the count cards. And that's where it all started from. My boss was a big time gambler. <laughs> yeah, that, I, that was a good movie. I saw that. Yeah, I, I never did that. Totally. Yeah, uh, it's good you seeing you up here, Mike, man. Seriously, man. It's really cool. For sure, man. I, I don't have problems going with no place. It, it is if I'm here and I see somebody live, I'm like, I just go up and say hi. Yeah. I almost think I was gonna stay in chat, but I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I'm just gonna go up. I haven't been on, I haven't been up on your channel in a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a while. I yeah. it's been a uh, little bit. <clears throat> and we just started the green room. And then usually we do a live. Uh, we're, we're doing a live this weekend, and that's that's done. We're going to do it. So, uh, or we were kind of, you know, we, like Moda said, you know. Right. 
we're doing it. So, um, but we Sunday. started the green room, and it's just a chill zone. Is all it is. Sometimes play a little bit. Sometimes we just chill. That's what I love about most channels. If I go up on any channel, if it's not a if it's a place that likes to cause problems and stuff, I usually don't like to go up there. Like chill place. That's what I do. I just love going and just chilling with people. You know, I don't want no shit. Yeah, I, we. I've got enough shit in my own life. I don't need everybody else's. True that, bro. Yeah, really. It's not a joke. <laughs> no. Every every day's a new pile of shit, and you just thank God that you're here to deal with it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's there ain't nothing truer than that. <laughs> welcome back, Southside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to your channel, brother. <laughs> It's, it's starting to get contagious. <laughs> hey, have, you, have you seen that yet, Mike? You know what that is? There we go. Uh, who just dropped that? I know I dropped Motor. That. Motor. Motor it, it, hit me real, it hit me hard for a second. I was like, whoa. Somebody else dropped. That was a turtle. It is motor. We got motor back. See, he's buffering. He's buffering. He's doing he's this. Having... He's got the spins. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, oh, pizza. Yeah, well, there he is. Back. It hit me hard. It dropped me too. It dropped yep. me. Now. Turtle, turtle. Let's see if this is turtle. Did he he go down too? All three yeah. of us? Yeah. Yeah. Now, turtle went back too. Turtle's back. Oh. Okay. Well, wow. Do you recognize that bridge, Mike? Reese? What's that? Do you recognize? He just went out again. That's like a zap. It's, I'm gonna tell you something. It's, it's like it's a weird. It's getting weird. There's some weird shit. I mean, I didn't put the video up, but Southwest Sky, plain as day. I mean, at, at night, uh, you got to catch it before like 2 a.m. You'll see a cluster of like three stars. I have the video. I got no way to show it, and yeah. uh, I think I sent it to you, right, the Nick? You saw it, right? I, I, that's and the then video. they zoom in on it, and it's just it's just a massive fireball. And you know, right there's the comet because this is it's getting closer and closer. Okay, all that electronic. All the electromagnetic shit going on, too. Yeah. Three in the chat. You're welcome into the green room. Now you got all these people talking about chaos going on, what? A couple next, or not next Monday, but the Monday after that, that whole freaking eclipse going on. They're like, oh, the world's yeah. going to go crazy. I'm like, yeah, it's. How many times has that happened? Like, why all of a sudden are people going to go crazy? Because, you know, there's going to be civil unrest because the, the moon covered the sun. No, you're stupid. Stop it. This it, is happens, <laughs> it happens every Come on. 10 years or so. They, have, they, they say it literally happens like every five days around the world. Like, there's eclipses like all really? over this whole freaking world. It just um, depends on how the moon lines up with your part of the where you're at in the world, you know. It's no big deal. It's just something that you can say, hey, this is cool to see. This is like, it's fucking nature. I love it, man. I don't think nothing chaotic. I love that nature gives that to us, you know. It's like, that's something that you're not going to see a lot in your life, but come on, man. Jay Blues, Jay Blues said he was going to take his. Grown up and 
checked out from a higher view. Yeah, it's it's hard with a drone because unless the sun's setting on the horizon, that's the only way with a drone you can get it. Cause I yeah. I fly a drone. I got a drone yeah. too, and you can only you can only catch the sun when it's just going down by the horizon. That's the only way you're gonna catch the sun with the drone because you ain't gonna go up high enough. Uh, um. Well, on the on the, on the air, um, I can get up. <laughs> I can um, bring the camera up and go right above the, the props. I mean, I can go right up on the props. So I figure on that angle, as long as I, let's see, um, that would be the yaw. Just get it away from the props on that angle and hopefully be able to be on that angle. But I'm not counting on it. But see, I'm like from it. My camera, my drone, it stays straight. Like I can, I can pan down and up, but I, once I get like basically vertical, my camera won't go up past my drone. So I can see my props if I'm flying hard. Like you can see like the prop, you get like that splash of prop. But hey, I'll, I'll show you something here. Let me, let me grab this. So is that a DG, DGI? Yeah, I'm gonna, let me just take this little camera shield off to here. Okay. So, our next guy, this will rotate up. And right now, if you come this way with it, it will come up this way. So right. if you swing the drone out and don't move the camera, right. you, you, you might be able to catch a piece of that. Well, even if you catch your prop in there, you're still going to get some of that video. Just You just get some prop wash in there, but yeah, yours does. My camera, I got the, I fly the Altel Robotics. I got the Evo 2. Oh, I and love that, that drone. That doesn't go up, but oh yeah. See, I'm actually looking at getting one of the uh, little Evo Nanos. You don't even have to register the one that I'm looking at. It's underweight. It's like 249 grams. It can fly for up to 30 minutes. And it's good for... I want to say the Evo Nano Plus is good for 6.1 miles out. But I don't know how you're going to go 6 miles on 30 minutes of battery. It's impossible. That's what they're saying. You know? You can go, uh, you could pull 22,000 feet uh, in clear, um, in, a, in a clear area. If you could get out over water, you'd be able to um, pull off about 20,000, 21,000. Do the math, you're already out four miles. Yeah. Uh, go out full speed at 60%, you're bringing it back in. You gotta go out against the wind, of course. Right. Otherwise, you're gonna have a... Yeah, see, that's what, I, I, I've looked at the DJIs. The only thing I don't like about those is they got the geo fence on them, so they, they sometimes won't let you launch where you're not supposed to. Now with the Autel Robotics, they have no geo fencing on. I can literally go to an airport and just launch that thing, and they won't stop me. I know I'm breaking the law, but 
I like the yeah. fact that you can, go. you can you can go in here. You can take this guy right here. You can take him into Class B airspace, and they want to know when, where, why, how high, yeah. and then they'll text you right back, and um, they'll tell you what your max altitude will be. Right. Um. But this this weighs six hundred and forty grams. Right. Yeah. The new Pro Mini Four. Um. Is under two hundred forty nine grams, but right. Uh, the their competitor is the Nano, which I think is really cool. Yeah, they're they're about the same. The only the only thing I like about the Nanos and stuff is you don't have to you don't have to register. You know? I mean. I just I, renewed, I just renewed 180 days early on mine, but you know, here's the thing. Like, you know, for the new remote ID that's been implemented. Yeah, yeah. I don't even worry about that. I fly as a hobbyist. I don't fly professional, so technically they can't really. How are they gonna tell you you have to just act dumb? If you get stopped, be like, I didn't know. I just fly this as a hobby. Welcome I, back, motor. You know, <laughs> my brother. My brother works for Spirit Airlines. He's FAA certified. Like literally, he's the one that says, "Okay, this airplane can go in the air." He's the final inspector. He knows all the FAA rules. He goes, "You act dumb." He goes, most of the time they're going to say, okay, bring it down, go home. We don't want to see you here again. I don't see how they can charge you 250 bucks to get this little remote ID that it really, it's been proven it doesn't even work. Per se, it doesn't really work. You know? They just dropped. Motor dropped again. Wow. That's, that's, um, there must be some magnetic interference up there somewhere in the atmosphere doing that. But here's the thing where I stand on remote ID. All right. One in the world of UAS aircraft. I'm like, I, I don't get it. You know, I've got a registered drone. Um, I love this drone because of the air sense, all the updates, aircraft in the area. It now gives me what it is, what the altitude is, and pulls it right up on my map. Right. Where does remote ID fit into the equation where you have the right, you know, I, I don't care, but you shouldn't have the right because you can't interfere with UAS aircraft. Now, the ones that are under 249 grams, they're asking for a very simple, we put remote ID in there because we want to know where you're flying, when you're flying, what you're doing, because we love going after the, the hobbyist. Because, yeah. Of course. yeah. We're going to make money off of that when we send you a fine. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's when you just... There, I, I've been flying drones for like four years now. I've went... Yes, I'm sir. on my probably fourth drone. I've got like $5,000 in drones that I've smacked in trees, bought a new one, smacked into the water. Shit happens. But, you know, I mean, yeah, you just... I, I think if you're just being cool, you stay under the 400 feet, which is your legal flight limit. You know, you I keep it. I don't ever fly my drone out of my sight. If I can't see my drone, I hit the home button. I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. You got to come back. You know, once I see it, I'm good to go. I think if you're just cool and you don't, if you're not being a jerk about it, I think most people ain't going to fuck with you. But, you know. 
it's there's always people in the world that's gonna mess it up for everybody because they want to go looking in people's windows or they want to go fly at airplanes they want to be stupid well here yep. here that's a good point here's the thing and 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 you hit the nail on the head now they got the remote id so the male and female karens of the world that hate drones ah yeah. oh, that drone's gonna fly and look in my window it's gonna do let me tell you something that drone i just showed you it doesn't even warm up till it's at 375 feet it's like let's go let's right go. <laughs> and I, I mean come on give me a break you don't see you don't see that i know i had neighbors i flew mine in my neighborhood and i had i had a neighbor she was like she's like i'm gonna call the cops and her boyfriend came to <laughs> and got my face and i'm flying my drone and i said listen before we get into this and you get mad, I said, let me show you something. And I told his girlfriend, I said, come over here. And they both stood right there, like right next to me. And I showed them my screen on my remote. I was at 400 feet. I said, do you see anything that I can spy on you with? And they're like, where are you at? I'm like, do you see sky, woods, just the neighborhood, right? Literally, I came down over their head where their hair was blowing i said now i can see your face i said so you don't think that if i'm spying on you you're not going to hear this or feel this and they're like okay we get it we didn't think we thought the cameras would consume in real quick i'm like that's not what drones are made for unless you're flying yeah. like a spy drone they will i was not thinking unless it's a military drone <laughs> as, a, as a hobbyist if i go spend 700 dollars on a drone it's literally not gonna see your face unless I'm cutting your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now on on like when they came out with the the new one now, the Air Three and the Pro Four Mini. I tell you what, now the zooms even more zoom power. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. You can and, get them now. Okay. Well, Infrared. For, for someone like me, when I go up, hey, Dr. Nick, glad you're back, buddy. What's happening? What's when happening? I go up in the air, um, my priority is what's flying along with me. There's a lot of birds up here that tag in behind. You might get a hawk or whatever, they tag in behind a drone. But I like to zoom out, and I'm sorry, zoom in uh, on the sun um, and the horizons and the sunsets, and I love the power. So to have another, you know, another four or five times over in right. zoom power, it's like ass kicking and be able to live stream. The 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 air two does even though the live stream is already there it will not live stream so the way you have to do it is you got a screen record and then send to prism you can live stream so you see what the drone is seeing right well uh, and you can do that on the auto i mean i can zoom in up to eight times on the auto robotics oh yeah oh yeah the thing is is the more you zoom in the more it just becomes pixelated so it's not it's not like i can be four 400 feet in the air you know and zoom in eight times and see what's going on there's no way it'd be blurry yeah well it's like it's like jay said you know it's more you know you want to get that sunset you can zoom in on that sun it's so far away that you're going to get a pretty crisp picture but People always assume that a drone that's in the air is spying on them or that you're just trying to be a peeping Tom. It's like, you guys, you don't even know, you know? Mm. And like I said, until I showed my neighbors, everybody that wants to ask about my drone, I'm so, I'm ready to show them how it works, what it does, how it takes pictures, how it takes video, how close I have to be. And they're all like... That makes us feel so much better with my neighbor flying a drone. I'm like, good. 
the more you learn, the more you're not going to be a Karen or a Darren, you know? Yeah. Too many yeah. paranoid people around. Oh, well, yeah. But the, the fucked up thing is, and fudged up thing, I guess, sorry for the language, but the, the most, the biggest thing that bothers that bothers my mind and boggles me is like you walk into a grocery store, you are on camera. You walk down the street to the town, you are on camera. What is something in the air flying at four hundred feet really bothering you for? Everywhere you go in this world, dude, there's a camera on you. Oh yeah. Whether it's a phone, whether it's security cameras, whether it's I don't care what it is. You know? They got they got cameras on light poles now. Here in the city, oh everywhere. He I mean, pulled over by a cop. He has a body cam. Like he's got a camera on his chest. <laughs> it's like, so why are you worried about a drone? <laughs> I know that that new uh, the new hotel, uh, the mini one. Yeah, the, the nano. <laughs> that ass kicking camera. You zoom in on the ground, you're going to see. I mean, it's up there with DJI. Yeah. Yeah, she's 4K. The, the DJI, you know, you, I stand by one rule with DJI. It always comes back. Right. Mine does too. If I hit the home button, it turns around and it, I don't even, I just put the remote down literally within, I'd say with less, within less than a foot, that drone lands right where I took off. Yeah. And if you think it's not going to, if it's going to overshoot it, by the time you see it, you can take manual control and you can just, you know, you can fly it down to where you want to land it. So, oh yeah. oh, yeah. I don't know. Technology is cool. Technology scares people. But the biggest thing is, is the technology that shouldn't scare people scares people. The technology that they carry in their pocket should scare them, but it yeah. doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> you I know. know. Come on. <laughs> you're walking with a freaking you have a navigation system that they know everywhere you're at with a phone in your pocket. They can hear you, they can do whatever they want, but you're scared of a flying little toy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, every you, you say something and then advertisements on Facebook and shit will come up the shit that you're talking about. It's oh, crazy, really? dude. No, yeah. fuck yeah, they will. I can get on Google and look up, like, I'm looking for a new drone now. I'm looking at the Nano Plus. I look at it on Google. The next day I can get on YouTube. In between all my videos, I'll see an ad. Oh, you remember when you were looking at the Nano Plus? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, fuck? check out this new oh, one. <laughs> you're telling me you're not looking and listening to what I do? <laughs> yep. How, how much is the Nano Plus now? What's that? How much is the Nano Plus? Uh, I, I can do the Nano Plus. I'm looking at the Nano Plus bundle, which is, I think, $8.99, but that comes with three extra props, a carrying bag, two ex three extra batteries, a charger that'll charge four batteries. So about 900 bucks. Which I know the DJI is way cheaper. No, I just I'm like not that. thrilled. I, I'm not, uh, I'm neutral to that. I, if I was going to do another drone, uh, the, I'd probably consider Air 3. I don't necessarily need a bigger cam, but I might consider Air 3, but for the money, you're getting more bang for the buck with the Autel. Somebody got a broken motor down there. <laughs> mm. Oh, buck 3.8, Mike. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't look so nice, huh? No. It's not. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Especially when one of the fucking coolant passengers is completely bluff. Uh -oh. what, is, what is that? It's supposed to look like that one. But that one's completely blocked. 
wow, that's like concrete. Yep. And yet they Somebody didn't do a reason. coolant flush. Nope. <laughs> but this engine, this engine is like 33 years old or something. 32 years old. So wow. it's for yeah, 30 odd years old. It makes sense, I guess. <sighs> but... uh, I picked the right fucking project, didn't I? Oh, I no. I find that I got more shit to do. <laughs> That's a lot of work. You you picked a project that might take a while. That's I mean, I guess you're going to be busy for a minute. <laughs> oh, I should just go back to doing more body work. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about the, the I'll just, make the car look the good. You have to just put the motor in it. <laughs> no, I do it all, man. I just did the interior or well, some of the interior. I do pretty much everything and anything. Hey, that's good, man. Keeping your hands busy uh, and having uh, a hobby, being able to do stuff like that. I admire people that work on cars because I can work on cars to a certain point, like brakes, changing oil. But yeah. when it comes to big things, I, I have no knowledge. I get, I try to get YouTube certified, but everybody has their own opinion, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, right. yeah. Anything that I've looked up with the 3.8 liter buck, it's either I'm watching Australian or American. Because both right. both countries have the same engine. Yeah, right. ah. um, time to go in and fucking think for a bit. I think I might just buy another, buy another engine. Fuck it. You know, I think it's that tablet that was kicking me all this time because I'm on my phone now. Wow. Oh, wow. What? <clears throat> Sounds nice. Well, I'm on a too. I, it, I, it really, I think they were, somebody was telling me about that virtual background. It, it I don't know if it takes up too much um, Wi Fi. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, eating up your gigs or your space, you don't have yeah. enough graphic card to to get it going the way it should. Yeah, I don't use I don't use none of the backgrounds. I noticed when I used backgrounds, I'd get choppy sometimes too, and it's like, huh, just get the wall of guitars up there. It's good to go. <laughs> They might, I might not be able to play them great, but they look good. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Like the music store behind me. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to pop out. I'm going to get some sleep. It's almost two. You guys yeah, all yeah. have a You have a great, great one. Thanks for stopping on. Right. Hey, for sure, man. It was good to see everybody. Good Jay, you, Motor City, Doctor. Take right care, man. <laughs> hey, Turtle. Good luck with the cars. Yes. Thank yeah. you for coming up, Mike. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a, a blessed Easter. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Take care. No problem. Right. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Peace out. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, I was going to show my hat up. I was trying to get a photo uploaded, but just now got up there with that. So let's see if I could bring that up. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Is that from your drone? That's from the drone. That's nice. That's cool. That would make a nice background. Yeah. Yeah, definitely try to do that, um, Jay Blues. Yeah, Get that right. baby up That's... during the eclipse. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. I like that.
it's too cool. It's like you're right on the bottom of the clouds, like right below them. Looks like there's a fire down below, and those clouds are the smoke. Yeah, it kind of does. That's pretty sweet looking. Huh. I'll be damned. Yeah. Here you, go. Here you go, turtle. Uh oh. Look at the size of those suckers. <laughs> oh, brand new. Oh, yeah. Oh, those. I could look at mine. Luxury <laughs> in the scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Got the rover. That's a silly rig, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need smaller rims and bigger tires. <laughs> that, that, see now that that that's where it's at right now. So what is being ordered now is um, the 18-inch Terra Firma jet black NATO rims, yeah. and uh, the tires are are um, all heavy, all terrain, um, 255-60R. Uh, 18s, which puts it at a 30 inch diameter. Be wicked. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those yeah, those wheels are for sale on eBay. But that's that's a whole other that that the previous owner. I don't know why. I have no clue. They were in San Jose, California. Maybe they liked it flat footed on 12s on 22s. But they got to go. But. Uh, yeah. They'll come off when the buyer buys them. That's when they come off. I don't want it on jacks for for more than uh, twelve hours. No. Okay. But yeah, it's a work in progress. Awesome man, sweet looking rod. Yeah, J Blue's styling. Yeah, it is. That's a nice mic. Y'all yeah, see the interior bash on that book. Overlay is complete around here with, okay, wait a minute. You know that one. That one we know. There you go. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a good shot there. Yeah. <laughs> like, fly cautiously. <laughs> fly by. Yeah, <laughs> another one that dive bombed right before that and that was the second one so there were two of them up there <laughs> and of course the, the old wall uh, yeah <laughs> and, the, the cat's fucking great <laughs> and here comes the final one ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much <laughs> <laughs> it's m mimicking the fucking owl or yep. <laughs> yep. like I said I bet you that cat's been watching your, that owl uh, numerous nights so to stand up there and the cat finally climbed up and was like and looked back at the window <laughs> uh, that's Henry Henry Ringo he's Henry Ringo yeah. yeah. And and that's a four by four post. So yeah. How oh the yeah. Hell you get up there. I guess. He got cats could jump, but then again, yeah. he's got claw, one claws. I bet you he digs in once or twice in there, yeah. and then yeah. scoots right up that bitch. Well, <laughs> yeah. God, that's what he said. Yep. That's now that's nice. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the road that's the road organ. Uh, you take that on the road with you? That's the road organ. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Huh. Got wheels on it? 
you ought to see the carrying straps that he's got for that. It's on wheels and okay. straps run around it and two guys, one on each end, you can grab hold of it and move it. Roll huh. it right in. Roll it right into the trailer. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Right and last but not least, oh, there it is. You know, um, I was thinking about that the other night, and um, because an older the other guy down the street, um, there's he hung out down, um, near there, and because I mentioned it to him, and he's like, I know where you're talking about, um, I. I think it turned into some kind of um, like a lodge or something after the bar closed. Tony Soprano could be walking right out of that place. So cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> What's it say on there? Hold on a second. Now I can zoom in. Jim's bar. Ah, okay. Now I I never seen that the name. I didn't zoom in on it. Oh, that's Jim's, right. It has the name on it. My yeah, bad. Jim's bar. Jefferson. And what is it? Grass? Wait, no, Cass. Jefferson Cass. Ah, Jim's Bar, Jefferson and Cass. Thirteen seventeen, Cass. At, wait, it says Bay City. That, no. Is that Bay City? No way. There it is. Yep. I got a different picture of that bar, too. Um, where is it? Oh, did you pull it up? There's a different picture. Yep. Same building, different picture. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, let me pull it oh, up. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool as shit. Somebody was standing on the street corner there. Took a picture of it. Cool. <laughs> so that same seven up sign? Yeah, same seven up sign. Because that's an oldie. <laughs> They used to call those like a. No, I was thinking a, it's just a long building, like a shotgun shack, but one door on each side, <laughs> right through the center. <laughs> got a name. Got to be a name for a building like that. It's real long, and. And, and that is Bay City. I thought that was, it was downtown somewhere or Hamtramck. Huh. I didn't know that was Bay City. Are you near Bay City? Or? No, Bay City is actually up near the Thumb. Oh, wow. Yeah. But Jefferson goes, goes up there. I didn't know they had a Cass up there because Cass Avenue is like downtown Detroit. But there is Jefferson and Cass, I think, downtown. Huh. <laughs> I'm 
kind of wondering though. I thought Jefferson Cass went the same direction for a while, but one of them I think might turn. Oh, here's another picture too. Oh shit, the other other way. Oh, I'll be damned. You can't read the sign as you can't read the sign as well because the sun's on it. Here's a picture of a bar downtown. Jumbos. <laughs> Jumbos. Jumbos. Oh, wow. That's an oldie. <laughs> Looks like from back in the 68 era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's an oldie. Jumbos. You know, I remember going up and down Grand River and downtown area um, in the 70s. And there were still burnt up buildings that were boarded up and shit down the main roads from the riots. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think they knocked some of them down till early 80s. <laughs> Just sat there vacant. Wow. <clears throat> But there's some good, some old bars down there still. Down here, there's one that I know of left in the, out here in the woods. And used to be weekends. Oh. And Dr. Nick, you remember bikes? You just sit on your patio and hear the band playing. And now all that's left is one. And the other one went up for sale recently. Uh, and very rarely hear any music coming out of there because what yeah. happened now is suddenly the neighbors feel that they're going to complain, but the bar has been there for probably 50 years. Yeah. Huh. Yep. That's something. 50 fucking years, and now that people are complaining. Yeah, because, you know, they just built a brand new neighborhood right there next to it. And only music once a week. So it would have been what, Dr. Nick, Saturday. It was Saturday. We used to Saturday get together. Saturday. You'd have your uh, your your bikers out, and um, they'd have one complete section of a very tiny parking lot, and then the cars would pull in the back, pickups in the back, and. Uh, <laughs> All of a sudden, where's the music? I ask a few locals, they're like, oh, yeah, well, they, they now get complaints from the neighbors. I'm like, you got to yep. quit. Yep. I'm going to let the dog out. Hey, Jay Blues. Yes, sir. I'm going to have to get off of here, buddy. You, I hear you, brother. You go ahead, bro. Man, I got to get off of here. I enjoyed the show you guys um and i'll talk to you all soon dr Nick, i know i'll hear from you today at some point i'm gonna be oh yeah right here working on that section of that floor getting that done oh okay oh so good yeah, yeah. You have a good one, Dr. Nick. Um, we'll be t seeing you the next time you, you guys go live. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take care of you soon, buddy. buddy. You have a Dr. good one. Nick, you look up with some, brother. Sure, I'll talk to you, you buddy. Easy. Be good. That's it. We'll be good at it. <laughs> That's it.
Big D's still hanging out. Big ups, Big D. I was just looking up some old bars in Detroit that are still here. They ain't telling, they're just showing the pictures and addresses and everything. I'd like to know how old they are, though. I'm just letting the dog out. What is the oldest? The two way in is the oldest bar in Detroit. Wow. Eighteen seventy six doors open. You got kicked out again. Yeah, it's something. Up. Maybe it's something up with Streamyards. I don't know. It's it's really wild. That that was um. It, it's weird how it goes out too. Cause I could I was just coming back in the door and I could hear it it's like that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, literally, as soon as you put, as soon as you turn the camera off, I got kicked out. Cause all I heard was, <laughs> I'm just gonna go let the dog out. You switch, you, huh. you turn the camera off, and poof, I was kicked out. Wow. You know, a, a variety store is used to be a bank. Before my time, the vault door is still there. It's cool. Huh. I was just looking this up. Um, the oldest bar in Detroit. It's been around since 1876, the two-way in. And, and then I was looking up the oldest bar. There's another one below. Oldest bar in America. The White Horse Tavern. 1673. Newport, Rhode Island. The oldest bar, oldest bar in the United States. Wow, look at that. Huh. Look in 1670, what'd I say? 1673? Yep, 1673. Wow. Oh. George Washington frequ frequ frequented it. And, and such as the Middleton Tavern, also in Maryland. Jeez. That's, that's crazy. Establishment. It's been open fucking over 300 years.
there's a house down on Jefferson Avenue, oldest house in Detroit, built in 1826. When it was built, it was at the cost of two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the thing's probably worth a hundred, two hundred thousand now or more. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Do they get a picture of this thing? Oldest house in Detroit. Slow back house. Oh, come on. Should have some ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the ear on here one. The Raven Lounge, the oldest blues bar or blues club in Detroit. on Cheyenne Street. Huh. Open the year as born. Google hunting. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get into that. I like the tunes in the background too. It's like what a, I dig about this room. It's just anything goes. And I'm it's, it's, looking so forward to doing this live thing with Doctor Nick. It's. Let me see if I can do this. Whoops. Come on now. Cancel. Here we go. Let me try this. Here. Oh. There we go. Ah. Fire in the hole. Yeah, yeah, bro. Fire in the hole. Fire up. Yeah. Is to you, Moda. Thank you. Turtle. Yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, hell, big game. My, George Washington might be walking the, into the bar. <laughs> Four twenty over here by seventeen minutes. Four thirty seven. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll hit it again then. <laughs> <laughs> Apology, Pipe. <Pipe-Bay. laughs> I should have came up on here on my phone in the beginning after I first dropped off a couple times. I can share. I see the share thing in here. In the tablet, I couldn't find it. You, you know, restream? Yeah. I can see it on this option. It wasn't on the other option on the tablet. Because Weird. the tablet is... Um, it's it. Is it logged in under the same? Same account. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I was able to switch phones and that, you know. It's the same one. That's weird. <coughs> I think the tablet has more of a dashboard look, though. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> or a desktop <laughs> mode? Like, like a desktop mode? So there's all the options are in different places. Like I can have on the once on the screen, I can see the panel, I can see the basement, and I can see the chat and all my options all on one screen, all at the same time. Like on my phone, I have to click on guess to see the basement on my phone. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I got to click on yes. Yeah, and the tablet, I can see them pop up in the basement while I'm on the panel. <laughs> it's different. Now, see, this I haven't tried, logging the tablet in to the screen yard. I had a tab the tablet logged in to the YouTube. So I could watch the chat. So I'll try it the other way. <coughs> yeah, I'll usually do that too, though. When I'm on live, I'm one to one device. I'll be watching the the chat with the other one. I mean, unless I'm host. You sometimes in the host, I already automatically see the chat. But it's easier to time people out or check pages if I got the other device. Ronald Nehow, welcome in. What's happening, Ronald? Good, good morning, morning, good evening. <laughs> oh, that's is that that station wagon? I was just looking at that. No. No, it's a HG, the 1974 HG station wagon. Oh, wow. 74? Did I have the back end where you could sit and look out the back or the seat in the back? <laughs> I have seen them with it, but I don't think they came out factory with them. 
because I think Ford was the only one over here that had a station wagon where they had a seat fold out of the floor. It just lifted up and you sat literally inside the floor looking out the back, back window. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I remember those. We were just talking about that too. <laughs> Depending on how much engineering I have to have done, I might possibly be able to put a dinky seat in the back of the freaking VM. That way, when you do drop the tailgate, but you got your own fucking like recliner chairs, <laughs> sort of deck chair, sort of sort of touch shit. You, you know, I'd like to know where the hell. I mean, I've never worked on a car like in that manner. I wonder where that yeah. gas tank is on those old station wagons. It's in the ball. Is it's it right, right under the, the seat the behind it? Yeah, right in the middle, right in the back, behind the bumper. <laughs> and it's directly in the middle of the car too, because down on one side you've got the fuel, the fuel hoses and stuff, and then on the other side you got your exhaust. <clears throat> That's the only thing. It's a ninety-one. The ninety-one suburban, the tank. Oh, is in the back. Rear bumper with a massive steel shield over it, but <laughs> bad place to put it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Better HG. HG. Oops. I had HT Monaro. Let's see. Mm. And my dad had a freaking HQ Premier rebuilt from the ground up back in, back in the late 90s. Mm. Factory blue or factory metallic blue, with all the factory blue interior and shit. And it was a uh, 202 red, the three speed auto. I think it was. I just hit the four hour mark. You know what? I think I'm going to jump down J Blues. I always enjoy four hours. I, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go a couple more minutes here. I can hear broke. Oh, man, I go four and a half. But well, you know, I got to get on the floor tomorrow. Uh -huh. And <laughs> well, I appreciate broke for what it, without his help, I wouldn't have had the, the rumble going. Oh, you got your, are you on rumble at the same time tonight? No, I didn't. We're live on rumble. Okay. How many followers do you have over there? Is uh, that what they're called? I haven't looked. <laughs> let, let, me, let me see. I haven't seen my Rumble page. I don't know how long. <laughs> let me see what's going on at Rumble here. The, I wonder if I think the Ford the Ford version of the El Camino was the Ranchero. I'm pretty sure it was the Ranchero. If not, it was a Chrysler of some sort. Because I know there was three car companies in America that had a go at making use. Yeah, I was, I was wondering, there was another one. Yeah, I know there's three. There's the El Camino, the Ranchero, and fucking... There was even a smaller version, too. Some small car came out with one that looked like a El Camino. The Ranchero. Was it the Ranchero? We're talking to Ford Ford Ranchero. Oh, no, trying to find because I know there were three car companies that made Utes. And it was the El Camino for Chevy, the Ranchero for Ford, and I can't remember the third one. Probably one or... 
me see. Can't remember now. Curves made by the El Camino. Hmm. That's an everyday thing, I'm real. It's everyday. If this is sedan, there's a youth of it. Especially if it's like holding on forward. What'd you say the GM one was? We well, know you're on, if you're on El Camino, that's your Chevy. Hmm. There's a cat, cat, Cabrillo. Cabriolet. How'd they spell that? What is that? I'll tell you. C C A B A L L E R O. Huh. I think that one was more rare, though. Not positive. Oh, wow. I like that one. Got a cover on it. That's right. What was the other one, though, they had here? Um, got zapped again. You know, there was a one, what was it called? A brat? Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or a scamp? Wait, what was that called? It was a little Dodge or Plymouth. Real tiny thing. And it looked like an El Camino, but it was just, I mean, a miniature one. Um, well, here it is. Yep. The scamp. Or the rampage. That was, what was that? A Plymouth? Who made that? Plymouth. 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 And then there was a Dodge Ramp, Rampage. That's it. There you go. I knew yeah. there was another one. Yep. Yeah. Out. Now there's an old one. Sweet. Let me blow that one up. That's pretty sweet. It looks like a sixty something. Sixty nine. It's a sixty nine. Yeah. Yep. Yep, nineteen sixty nine. Pretty sweet. It's got a little um scoop on or you know, like the vent on the top of the hood. Yeah. That one's pretty sweet looking too. I like that one. Yep. Gold color. That was a ranchero. That, that baby looks sweet. God damn it. Looking turned. That's a pretty sweet looking one. And that's a brat. Haggerty. Oh, 
No, no. Okay, it says it's all four names on this one. Why is it? Oh, it's an El Camino, 1970. Just ain't built like they used to be, you know? Not anymore. No way. Jeez. I, I will say one thing. Uh, working on the, uh, the British Land Rover, if you think about it, it weighs uh, 7,000... Uh, 100 and something pounds. It's just unbelievable. It's like a tank. Yeah. Yeah, it does look that big, too. I mean, it, you can just tell it's bulky. <laughs> and, and, uh... The 91... The 91, it's just raw iron. And it's just... Hmm. Today, you know... <laughs> I think the, the number one vehicle out there right now to, for, is the uh, the Ford uh, Raptor was the most uh, safest in a collision I think it was up to like 40 miles an hour, but even then, um, the way they're built, the engine would be in your lap. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that don't sound fun. <laughs> Ow. Man. But appreciate, yeah, we'll, um, yeah, you know what I do. I'll end the I'll end the stream. Everybody that came in tonight, thank you. Everybody hanging out. Have a great night. Big D, you're still in there. Mike. Yeah. I commend the chat. Awesome. Awesome. All the way. Doesn't work without you guys. Turn 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 all. Uh Big Nick, and Dr. Nick. Yeah, Turtle, I hear you. Um, now it's sketchy. It's weird how it's doing. It makes this like noise like zap. It's, it's weird. I'll see you later, Turtle. Appreciate you 100%, brother. Big D, anyone else in the chat? I see two in there. Ronald, Nihau, thanks a million. Thank you, Turtle. Thank you. Okay, we got I'm going to try and attempt to end this, but if I if I end it, motor does it go right into the studio? It just goes backstage. Okay, here we go. Yep. Appreciate everyone in the chat. See you very soon. That side. Green room. We're out.